ho, 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 ho. Welcome, everyone, to the Misconceptions Christmas Holiday Special of 2017. Ho, 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 ho. Hello, friends, and happy holidays. Today we are bringing you a special Christmas-themed episode of Honey Heist by Grant Howitt. And also, you're getting double episodes today because it's Christmas and, you know, gifts or whatever. But before we get to the episode, Honey Heist is an RPG created by Grant Howitt, and it is a one-page RPG, and it's very simple because you have two stats. One is your bear stat, where you climb, sniff, growl, you know, do bear things. And the other is your criminal stat, basically everything else that isn't related to bear. So, we are going to be playing a heist where uh, we are bears, and we try to do criminal things, but really, it's not so much a heist as much as it is a couple of bears running around doing bear stuff and trying to come up with complicated plans and then having them fail and, um, you know, slowly losing our sanity. Um, So, I hope you're ready for that. Grant Howitt created this game, and he has created other one-page RPGs. I've just recently discovered the joys of one-page RPGs. Uh, I found Lasers and Feelings, you know, all the hacks of that, and that kind of led me to learn about Honey Heist. But uh, Honey Heist is a really great game. You're about to see how fun it is. And if you want to know more about other games that Grant Howitt has created, I'm going to post a link to his site, but also to his Patreon. You can be certain that I went and pledged my support to Grant Howitt shortly after learning about this game. And uh, now I'm going to get a lot of free one-page RPG goodies. And, uh, you know, some of them might be on the misconceptions in the future. I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to put those links down in the bottom. If you're interested in Honey Heist or you want to see other games that Grant Howitt has created, because he's created quite a few, uh, why don't you go check that out and uh, support Grant in his endeavor to make really fun, really absurd games. Now, in the beginning half of this episode, there is a bit of a crackle. Um, And, you know, we've had this crackle in other episodes, and I want to personally apologize uh, for this, because, you know, we're trying to make a show that you want to listen to, something that has good audio quality, and whenever there's a crackle that muffles out some of the audio and punchlines and stuff... It's not a good show. Uh, So I am very, very, very frustrated in this crackle, especially since I can't really seem to find out what's causing it. Uh, From what I've done by researching online, it seems that there's a sample rate mismatch between our recording equipment. Oh, hello, Maggie. Our recording equipment and uh, the Mac that we record onto. Um, And, you know, I'll try to see if that's what it is. If you are a sound expert and you want to help us out by kind of, oh, hey, this is what it is, please tell me, because this is driving me insane, and I hate it, and I want to create a good show that y'all want to listen to. Um, So I apologize for this crackle. Like I said, it's only in the beginning part of the episode. Uh, We took a break, and we paused the recording, and then when we came back to it, that crackle was gone. So, you know, you're only going to have this crackle for the first hour or whatever. Also, before we get started, I want to give a special shout-out to RPG Casts by Tess. Uh, they recently featured us, well, I don't know if they featured us, they added us to a list of other actual play podcasts, uh, some really, really great actual play podcasts, actually, and uh, we're just very honored to be included in this list. Uh, if you're interested in finding some other actual play podcasts, go check out RPG Casts by Tess, uh, and I'll put that in the link as well, um, but yeah. Thank you, Tess, for adding us. Go check out RPG Casts if you want to see some more actual play podcasts. I want to give a shout out to two new SoundCloud listeners, Anigan Veganos and Cheshire Mythos. Uh, firstly, Cheshire Mythos, I don't know if you could have a better username for somebody who decides to subscribe to a City of Mist actual play podcast. Uh, so thank you for joining. And Anakin, even though I have just met you, I will be watching your career with great interest. All right, let's get to the show and uh, let's do some bear stuff. (laughs) 
If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. If you go down in the woods today, you better go in disguise. For every bear that ever there was will gather there for certain because today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic. We're going to go ahead and get started, and um, I'm actually going to pass it today. I'm not GMing. I'm going to pass it to today's GM, or uh, do you want to be, are you HM or DM, like Heist Master, Honey Master? What are you? Honey Master. Just the master. Okay, I'm going to pass it to the master. (laughs) I'm the only one at this table that has their master. Oh, that's true. That's true. I mean, y'all are working on it. No, <laughs> in pursuit. You'll get there. Right, you're right, you're right. Well, right now I am. Three people are working on it. I am not. <laughs> <laughs> I am content with my bachelor's in English, and I'm doing nothing with but it. But he will be. You, that's not true. I'm teaching English. Yeah, I was like, you <laughs> something. Also, I had to take an ESL test, and I did not study for it did you at do well? all. I did not crack open We the don't book. know. He finds out Tuesday. Oh, yeah, I found out Tuesday. But luckily, a lot of the questions were like, what did this native Spanish speaker do wrong with this English sentence? And it was like, I don't know, it was something weird. And I was like, well, they didn't have the correct subject-verb agreement. So even though I didn't study for it, I was like, yes, I can still pass this test. Was it test. Short answer? No. It was multiple choice. <laughs> but it was 80 questions long. My gosh, I feel so sorry for the kids taking the star test. Because I did 40 questions, and I was like... Woo, all right, I'm going to take a break and walk around. And I walked around that entire building. I, like, went into all the rooms. Did that again? Yeah, I did it again. I went into all the rooms, like, stared at the clocks for, like, a minute. <laughs> and then I, like, <laughs> messed with the chairs and stuff. And I walked around the computer lab, and I came back, and she was like, oh, you're back so soon? I was like, I was gone for a while. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we got way off track. I'm going to pass it to our GM for today's game, who is Carrie white and carrie this is your first time gming anything isn't it yes okay <laughs> well i am going this to is my wife we call her wife <laughs> this is my wife we call her wife that's a little dexter's laboratory reference for oh all of you God. out there um but anyways i'm i wish i could say that i'm gonna step out of the gm's chair but i'm still in this uncomfortable ass chair <laughs> and everybody else has these nice cushioned seats that's because he's in charge of the sound that doesn't mean I have to sit in this chair. Anybody could sit in this he chair could anyways. He in a recliner, but he just chooses not to. Yeah. <gasps> Don't listen to him. Well, with the recliner, like, I'm way back away from the mic, so I can't, like, lean towards it. Anyways, Carrie, you're, you're the GM, and this is your show now. I think I think that. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Honey Heist. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> 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 no Wookiees. Oh, that's good. Okay. So to start out, we'll do our little question thing a jig because David hates it and I love it. So um, <laughs> So we do it despite David all So right. this is a holiday episode, so the question is a holiday question. Um what is your favorite Christmas tradition? Who are we starting with? Who wants to start? Tessa or David? David. Sure, I'll go first. Um, so favorite favorite Christmas tradition? Yes. Mm. Or Kwanzaa, or Hanukkah, <laughs> whatever you celebrate. Yeah, whatever holiday we celebrate. Um, I celebrate Christmas. Um, man, I don't know. My family doesn't have a lot of traditions. I mean, we open presents. We have our stockings. Um, we get five, like the flavor five gum in our stockings every year. I don't know why it's that <laughs> one specifically. <laughs> that is random. Okay. Well, I don't know. Um, man, I don't know if I have a Christmas tradition. But my favorite Christmas memory is um, it was like I had just gone off to college 
and I came back, and this was when the boys were still little, Michael and Caleb, Micah and Caleb. Um, <laughs> I don't know my brother's names. That's pretty bad. But anyways, <laughs> I, went, I came home, and they were still little, and it was Christmas Day, and they woke me up, and we, like, went down, and we, like, saw the presents, and everybody, and nobody was awake. Uh, and then the boys were like, let's go outside and see if we can, like, find tracks of Santa and stuff. And so we went outside, and it was just neat because... I got to spend, like, this early pre-dawn hours with my little brothers looking for signs of Santa. And we were like, he probably came in, like, right over here. And, like, you can see the ruts right here where the sleigh was. Really, it was just where, like, the ravenous hogs had come and you tore up the ground looking the for water. where the sleigh was from. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was where Santa had landed. But anyways... I don't know. My family doesn't have a lot of traditions. I guess my tradition is uh, that we went to so many houses on Christmas Day. But now we don't do that because we live very far away from our family. Well, this got really (laughs) depressing (laughs) really fast. Well, there you go. That's my Christmas traditions. Thank you for listening. Can, can, can Can I reframe the question for you? Yes, please. Because you have... You have... That was a great question, you, Harry, but it sucks. No, right. no, well, no, no, no. Fix it for oh, you my gosh. While he is, mansplains it. Oh, my I, gosh. <laughs> that is not what's happening. Uh, I'm reframing it because David was obviously having trouble with this one. Because I'm a man? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what You have a family here. Yes, you, I do. They recently Carrie moved here. Carrie and Maggie. Oh, yes, yeah, Carrie and Maggie, Because yeah. it's nuclear like this. Yes, this is my family. What would you like to see become a Christmas tradition in the future? Ooh, I like that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh my head. gosh! All right, cool. <laughs> so next, it's your turn, I guess it's my turn. My favorite Christmas tradition is whenever I get to play Honey Heist and mansplain uh, <laughs> over people. <laughs> And now, my family is crazy in the best way. Um, and I think that my favorite tradition is we play this crazy game. It's like somebody every year, one family brings the gift. And it's usually like a $50 gift card to somewhere. And it's in a very t- small box that's inside of a slightly larger box that's inside of a slightly larger box. And like, it gets to being the size of like a box you would use to pack your house. And they pack it very obnoxiously, like sometimes using duct tape um, and very well. And whoever rolls these, <laughs> <laughs> whoever rolls a pair of die and gets doubles mm-hmm. gets to start opening the gift, but they have to wear oven mitts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then people are constantly rolling in a circle, and the next person who gets doubles tries to open it, and that goes on for a good 15 minutes until someone gets to the very bottom of it. And usually what happens is somebody will get to, like, the very last thing and be about to rip it open, and someone else will get doubles and open it. And I don't know. It's fun. I like doing it. Not as much as I like mansplaining, though. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> Zach? Um, I guess as a kid, the favorite one that I enjoyed was making tamales. Um, but now that we're much older, they don't have, uh, the children to make, to make the tamales. (laughs) (laughs) They don't have the child Child labor. (laughs) (laughs) The free child labor to make the tamales. So we don't do that anymore. Uh, cause all the children are in college. Uh, but the tradition now is, um, white elephant but my family is crazy and so it's the most ludicrous ridiculous white elephant gifts that you've ever heard of um and so (laughs) one of them that i picked out it was like on clearance it was like it was like Blow up pool like float. A, yeah, like a pool float. Yeah, it was a pool float, and it's a giant swan. I thought you were going a different direction with that one. Yep. <laughs> it was a blow up. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, I'm excited about that. It's fun. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's weird, because we're still kind of trying to figure out our Christmas traditions. 
and like where we go and who gets what day and all of that stuff. So we don't have any traditions like currently happening because it's just like run to the next house. <laughs> uh, there's no time to like do anything. Well, but like growing up, I don't know. Like it was so much fun to go to Chicago and for it to be like snowing and we would walk downtown and do like all of the Chicago we things. So this is our first, like the last two years have been our first Christmases in Texas for my whole life. So that's been weird. So yeah, I miss Chicago. Very cool. Very cool. Can I say that my favorite Christmas tradition is seeing family? Because that's like the one day of the year that I get to see all my family. Well, like in the past, like I would see Nan and Papa, and then I would see Mimi and all that side of the family, then Mimi and Papa, and of course my family. So yeah, seeing my family. That's a good one. No. Okay, then I retract it. <laughs> we always do Christmas Eve gifts at our house, and it's always like pajamas and a game for the family to play together or something for the family to do together, and so that's always a lot of fun. I think last year my mom got us books that we had to read out loud to everybody, which is kind of fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, because I got the... When the crayons came home. Yeah, yeah. you and Jeremy got the same book, so y'all had to like alternate reading yeah, yeah. pages and... Mine was like, you do great things, even though your life sucks right now. It's <laughs> <laughs> supposed to be really inspirational. And it was, but, you know, whatever. Uh, okay, so, Honey Heist, it's a thing. <laughs> that was supposed to be a bear. <laughs> that was supposed to be a bear, but it wasn't. Um, so, with Honey Heist, um, it's a one-page RPG which David probably already introduced in the introduction. Um, but to start out, y'all have to roll for your characters. Oh, yeah. The eight die. What do we roll? You're going to... So start out with the six. So 1d6. Yeah. And we'll get to... Actually, get 2d6 for the first roll. Yeah. Just stay over there. And then... I guess just roll them and then go around and you can tell me what you got and I'll tell you what you are. Okay. What if... What if they get the same type of bear, or That's the same not type acceptable. of? So re rolls any re roll any there the same. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so David, oh, what did I would I rolled a three, uh huh, and a five. So David is a retired sun bear. <laughs> Can I see my character scene? Yeah, let me find it. I don't even know what it is. So I'm a retired sun bear? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like S U N S O N. Yeah, S U N. Oh my god. <laughs> retired. <laughs> Dad, can we go somewhere? <laughs> no, no, that's good. A sun bear. Okay. Jaime, what'd you roll? A three and a one. A three and a one. So you are a retired grizzly bear. Oh. So should he re roll that retired so we don't have Um yeah, if you want to. Which one was that? Three. The three. Five and a one. A slick grizzly bear. Hey. Ooh. <laughs> Got him. Go. All right. I got a two and a three. A two and a three. So oh. you're a washed up panda. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Maybe you can sleep during it. <laughs> My bear skill is hungry for bamboo. This is perfect. Yeah, it is. I got a one and a six. A one and a six. So you're a rookie honey badger. Okay. Oh, rookie honey, badger. honey badgers are crazy, she dude. Give a... <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a what, honey? You know. Have you ever seen that video? Mm-mm. You've never seen honey, honey badgers? badgers? Okay. Honey really? So now... <laughs> You're each going to roll another D6, and we're going to figure out what your role is in the party. Just one? Yeah. Where'd it go? Jeez, David. Tessa. Where'd it go? Two. You got a two. Tessa is the brains. Go figure. Wait, <laughs> the rookie honey badger is the brains? <laughs> yes. Surprise! That's why we brought her on. As a rookie. Oh, you rolled a one. Oh, uh, you. Okay. So, she already had a two. A three. So Zach is the driver. Sweet. <laughs> Masha Panda is the driver. Jaime is the hacker. The slick grizzly the slick is the hacker. That makes hacker. sense. David? 
is the muscle. Like heck. Yes. The retired sun, sun bear. bear is. Just picture the like, an old, the, like a retired mobster kneecapper. What is the muscle? <laughs> yeah, okay. the muscle. And then um, bonus, you get a hat. So roll the D8 for your hat. All of us? Yeah. I'll re-roll, because I haven't re-rolled yet. I got eight. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Seven. Okay. okay. So David is going to have a crown. Yeah! Give me that crown, boys! <laughs> <laughs> Jaime has a cowboy hat. Hey, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> you got a four. You're a flat cap. What the heck's a flat cap? Hold is on, that like I'll a look it. Snapback. I'm gonna look it up. Is that like a snapback? Flat what is cap. It? A flat cap. Yeah. Flat cap. Maybe Go ahead. What did a? What was yours, Tessa? Eight. Uh, so roll twice. So roll again. Oh, a flat cap. Uh, oh, it's like the Scottish thing. Yeah, oh, yeah, sweet. yeah. It's Scottish. like the the golfer's hat. Oh. I wish I could Four. lift up my laptop and show you, but Wait, it's connected to a lot of stuff. Can't I just have a flower crown? Five. <laughs> he already already has five. five. Oh, for the love! <laughs> <laughs> One. A trill. A tr- I can't say it right. A trilby. Is that how you say it? Yeah, a trilby. A trilby? What's a trilby? It's like a fedora. Yeah, it's a fedora. Basically, it's actually when you think of a fedora, that's actually a trilby. Like what do you already have? Yes. No, no that's actually know. a flat cap. Oh. Fedora. Uh, is... The grizzly is wearing the the fedora in the picture. That's a bowler. Oh, also we should. That's not a. Oh yeah, it is a bowler. Yeah, this is wrong. more like a bowler. No, no, no. Yeah, that's the bowler. So that's the that's the thing. We're also I'm I'm just gonna give a shout out to this guy. Uh, we're also using uh, character sheets that were designed. <clears throat> shoot, <laughs> his name is so hard, but it's at Tegni Bjarni. So T E G N E B J A R N E, and they are Bjarn? beautifully designed. Uh, these aren't like the official Honey Heist character sheets. But they're beautiful, and I found them. And I wanted to play with them. Uh, but I'll put a I'll put that name in the show notes, so like you could go look at his stuff because th- these are gorgeous. I yes. love them. Um, can we uh, scoot a little bit? Because I'm like I'm really squished. Scoot with you're fine. Okay, I'm, I there's can't. nowhere next to me. Um. Okay, so let's wait. First, we need to name our bears. I know y'all are working on names, and I. Um, Ooh. okay. Give me your, mm, give me your marker that you use to write on yours so I can use it on here so I can mark what everybody is. Cause I'm weird. So blue. Okay. So what are you, David? I'm a retired sun bear who is the muscle. <laughs> I love it. And your hat? <laughs> uh, and I'm wearing a crown. <laughs> yeah, you are. Okay. So are we going to start the game wearing these crowns, or are we going to find them later? Um, I think you have them. Okay. What are you, Jaime? Slick Grizzly Hacker. And what is your hat? Cowboy, cowboy hat. Yeah. My you name just can't is, get away from the cowboy hat. My name is Barry. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> B E A R Y. <laughs> so your name is Barry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't see those boxes. Where awesome. are some bears from? What is your name, David? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Okay. What are you, Zach? Mm. You're washed up honey bear. <laughs> First name Barry. Last no, name aren't you hungry. a panda? <laughs> Barry. Hungry. Yep, washed up panda bear. <laughs> 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 and you're the driver? Yes. And you have the flat cap? Yep. What's your name? I haven't figured that one out yet. Okay. That's a weird name. Yep. <laughs> Mr. Blue Sparkles. I am a rookie honey badger. <laughs> That's the brains. <laughs> oh you really need to see that video. What's your name, Tessa? Mel. Are you serious? <laughs> what? I just wrote down my name as Mal. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Never mind. Let's change it. 
I just looked it up because they're from Malaysia, and I was like, oh, Mal. But you know what? Forget it. I'm Orso. Orso. What? Actually, my name was Orso. I'm just kidding. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Wait, okay, so David's Orso. What is your name? Orso. How do you spell it? O-R-S-O. Barry. Barry. Barry Hungry. Zach, do you have a name yet? Are you still looking? Not still looking. Is y'all's... Look up like a cool uh, Chinese name. Like Lee. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, is that not a Chinese name? I believe it is. He's right. He's a panda bear! (laughs) What's the racist about naming a panda bear? Javon Lee! Javon Lee! Javon Lee. Um, Is y'all's pens uh, not... uh, Are they dried out? No, they're not drying out. They're just, like, coming off. Yeah. Yeah, these are pretty slick. Okay. But it's good because we're going to have to erase a lot of stuff anyways. Yeah. Um, it's a berry. <laughs> Mel. A-R-Y. Oh, you're right. <laughs> that is how a bear would spell berry. You could do something for Mulan. It's very Mulan. Mushu. B-R-Y. Oh, what's, a, what's old boy's name? The fat one. Hi, I'm Poe. Yes. Poe. Mm-hmm. Your name is Poe. Yeah. Poe Dameron. Um, <laughs> wait. What about Lun Lun? No. No. Poe. I like Lun Lun. Or Kevin. It's Poe or Kevin. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'll call you Kevin. Okay. Wait, he doesn't have a name I yet. I know. <laughs> but on it. y'all are ridiculous. <laughs> what is? <laughs> what does Lun Lun mean, Zach? Um... Oh, it's just an animal. It means panda. these nuts. Atlanta <laughs> Zoo. I think Atlanta Zoo. Through a yeah. heist with a panda with no name. Yeah. Yeah. So good me. to I be out of the honey. So I need you to find another footrest. <laughs> Excuse me, there's a footrest right over there. No, but that doesn't reach my left foot, so. <laughs> Excuse me for using the footrest hey, right hey. next to me. Driver, she's the brains, okay? <laughs> You gotta accommodate. Yeah, you washed up. <laughs> washed up, Panda. You might have been good in the past. Oh my god. Wait, can you look at hang on, hang on, hang on. What am oh. I looking for? <laughs> While Zach's looking for names, I'll look at the honey badger video. I gotta, you know, get into character. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> honey badgers, do you see what your special skill is? It's carnage spelled in blood. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, just YouTube, this is YouTube not gonna Honey go Badger, well and it should be the first thing that comes up. Don't give it F. Yeah. <laughs> Got it, like, got it, got it, got it, got it. a little 12 second video. Honey Badger has been referred to by the Guinness Book of World Records as the most fearless animal in all of the animal kingdom. It really doesn't give it. Uh, I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck, bitch. I don't give a fuck about you or anything that you do. Don't give it about you or anything that you do. So, we have yeah, our yeah. Um, bears. Um, we have Barry the Slick Grizzly Hacker in the cowboy hat. We have Mel, the rookie honey badger, that is the brains in the fedora, if you will, because I can't say that other word. Um, We have Orso, the retired sun bear, that is the muscle, wearing his crown. Um, And we have Yang Yang, the washed up panda, that is our driver, in the flat cap. So... um, as we begin, we have um, our four fearless bears um, that are a team of honey thieves. Um, they're famous um, among HoneyCon attendees. Um, y'all, um, y'all go to HoneyCon every year, um, and 2017 will be no different. Um, so y'all are um, making your plans for the trip to the Convoy Con. Um, as it were, this year. Is Convoy Con the con that takes us to Honey Con? <laughs> no, the con is actually taking place on a convoy. Oh. oh. So, um, so currently y'all are all um, at your hideout, um, and y'all are just talking about your plans for um, the con and how excited y'all are. Mm-hmm. So, So we're... 
you're like, in, I guess a hideout would be a cave. So we're not well, at the convoy so con. You're not yet. at the convoy con yet. You're in okay. your hideout, and so talk amongst yourselves. Talk about what your hideout looks like. What you've been doing since the last con. I like the idea of like this being a certain person's cave, and then like all of us show up and like knock on the door. Well, at, like at different times, like very akin to like Bilbo Baggins welcoming in all the dwarves at different times. It's a cave. Made no one's seen the bamboo. <laughs> so we're meeting at your house or your cave. Okay. So the cave, or so, so the cave is really just like bamboo shoved into, like just this mountain, and it's just all bamboo everywhere. Imagine a gingerbread house, but it's just bamboo. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the, the bamboo gingerbread houses. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Well, where it's like entirely made of food, so my panda is like, oh, I'm hungry. I'm just going to uh, eat your house. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're not supposed to poop where you eat. Oh, snap. Oh, that's why I go to your house. Oh, okay. <laughs> so who's the first to show up at Yang Yang's house? Who is it? They, uh, it's, uh, it's Barry. Door is open. Come on in. All right. There's actually no door. I was just letting you know I was here. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, though. Appreciate it. You got any, uh, you got any honey? Nope. Just bamboo. <laughs> just way you like it. Oh, goodness gracious. Because you're very hungry. <laughs> 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 we got a wise guy here. All right. Uh, where's the sofa? Well, it's made out of bamboo and it's half eaten, so <laughs> it's a chair for right now. Just let it be known that my character is just standing there staring at, at the washed up panda. I was watching Honey TV and got a little hungry and ate half the sofa, so. Little. Someone please show up. <laughs> I can't handle this. What do you want? Hey, where's, the, where's the door in this place? Is this the front or is this the... Just gonna walk through these bamboo shoots. Oh, then! What? Yin Yang and very hungry. <laughs> nice to see you all. So, uh, I don't usually I actually... say people's last names when I talk to them. You're right. That's that's <laughs> common bear etiquette. <laughs> <laughs> I just picture when, uh, when Orso walks in, he, because he's the muscle of the group, he's old, but he's the muscle. And Obviously, so, like, yeah. So like he like comes in and he like breaks off a side of the door or something like oh he, yeah like, like breaks I just, part of it <laughs> instead of like kind of squeezing my way through the bamboo I just like break the bamboo sticks around me yeah which is very surprising because as everybody knows Chinese bamboo is very strong you so got any but uh, you're stronger <laughs> yeah it's a little rush hour joke got any senzu beans on you is this, what I don't uh, know but I brought my crown it's very shiny are you saying crown or crayon Oh, well, that's really hard. I also, <laughs> I also do have this that. box of 64 colored crayons. <laughs> and you open them up, and they're just actual crowns that you wear on your head. They're just little bitty. <laughs> oh, jeez, these people. These guys. <laughs> okay, so Mel, like, doesn't knock. She just, like, walks in, and she's got, like, one headphone down and one in her ear, and it's blasting. I don't give a... <laughs> you know anything that you do and she just like walks in and like sprawls down the couch and is like yo what's up is this a new hey, kid I was, I was gonna sit there what well is... you're gonna have to get over it and this chick she doesn't give it and there's <laughs> there's like a box of bamboo and it's like well if you wanna make a chair you can make a chair right there this is a chair right here or so sits in the box <laughs> <laughs> and he breaks it cause he's a muscle um at this point um Yang Yang remembers the letter that he recently got, um, the fan mail. Um, and so he, <laughs> Yang Yang gets fan mail? Y'all all get fan mail because you're faint, like, oh. it comes to his house because that's where y'all go, but y'all we, get fan mail regularly because y'all are famous at the Honey Con. Are we famous honey heisters? Yes. Ooh, I like Did it. Did you not catch that at the beginning? Did I not make that clear? I'm sorry, I can't hear real well. That's okay. <laughs> um, and so, you know, y'all are used to getting fan mail, but um, this particular letter was a little bit different, and so he decides that he's going to share it. So. What you got, Yang Yang? Well, you see, 
we got some fan mail, and we're going to go to a place for Halloween. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think Christmas <laughs> episode. <laughs> I think that was a different holiday episode, <laughs> and I had a different voice. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, yeah. Why is it Zach that's always getting the mail? Because <laughs> I'm the most important. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, so he pulls out the letter, and um, on the front of the letter it says, "From the desk of Polar Santa." Mm. Um, it says, "Dear famous band of bears, of whom I consider myself your number one fan, I am Polar Santa's head elf bear, Bitsy." I have been following your heist for years, and I find your stories absolutely amazing. All this to say, Polar Santa needs your help. As you well know, Polar Santa prides himself on bringing the most obscure beehives to the Council of Legendary Bears Christmas extravaganza every year. And this year he learned, um, this year he learned of Abraham Lincoln's beehive, um, and he just has to have it. The hive is believed to be in the famous Ford's Theater. Your mission, should you choose to accept, is to retrieve Mr. Lincoln's beehive and bring it to Polar Santa. Please find me at the con to give me your answer. You'll be able to identify me because I'll be wearing a red and white fedora. I look forward to our meeting at the Convoy Con. Signed, number one fan, Bitsy. Wow, Yang Yang, is really cool. You read that in, in the little elf's voice. It was very convincing. <clears throat> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <clears throat> so, who is, is Polar Santa? He wants us to get a beehive. How do you not know who? I fell asleep. I'm old and retired. Uh, I only eat snakes and lions, <laughs> so I don't care about getting a beehive. Screw you two. <laughs> Well, I guess we we got to come up with a plan to steal George Washington's beehive. Oh, my gosh. It's Abe Lincoln's. Who? Where is he? He looks around. Uh, I think uh, we should probably go to the con and talk to the elf. Well, hold on. Who's the, who's the brain in this operation here? Uh, me. The brain doesn't give a <laughs> fudge. <laughs> You know, Every time y'all say that, you just need to slice in honey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't give a honey. <laughs> um, and do the jazz hands too. Yeah, because we can see that. Um, <laughs> jazz Orso, Orso uh, is going to look over Mel. I'm going to assume that Mel is kind of the new person to the group. In fact, I'm going to say that uh, this is a very old group because we're very famous. And so, like... Orso and Yang Yang have been around because we're obviously retired and uh, washed up. You're washed up. I'm retired. <laughs> um, but, like, uh, maybe the, the group has gone through some changes. Because our old, our old brains, God rest his soul, <laughs> he's resting with the fishes. No thanks to our muscle. Oh... It's some, some it's why I retired. <laughs> but I decided to come out of retirement because I knew I had to prove myself one last time. Oh my gosh, it's just You were our brains and the heist failed, no thanks to you and we lost him. Yeah, that's why I was and demoted to the muscle. One. So brains, what do you what do you got for us? Little little pipsqueak. <laughs> I mean, I th- think it's pretty obvious so do i but i just want to hear what you say <laughs> <laughs> we should go to talk to this elf with the i mean i have a better fedora but what was hers like red and white no oh, no we were reading a letter we couldn't see her it said in the letter do you listen to anything i was asleep <laughs> i don't know why we have him what's so, so <laughs> con so we're going to the con, and Yang Yang is our driver. Honey, 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 yeah. honey, 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 hon
Yes. She's at the con she con. Said, Damn, I really did miss out on all this stuff. Would you like for me to read the letter? No, I'm role playing like I didn't hear anything, but it's a good thing that I am because I didn't. So, um, <clears throat> so the setup is you're going to go to the con on the convoy, mm-hmm. and um, while you're there, you have to meet up with Bitsy, the elf bear, um, to uh, get more details about the heist um, and let her know for sure if you're going to take the job or not. Um, yeah, so our heist is getting Abraham Lincoln's Ford's out of theater. Ford's theater. So um, she'll have more details for you at the con. Um, the con is on a convoy, but this convoy is a little bit different than what you might be thinking. It's more of like a train because that's easier to... So we're on a train right now. So you're like on a train, so you can go from like... Um, cart to cart. Cart to cart. Okay. Because okay. there's like different... Because it's a con, so there's like different... Are we living in a world where like bears on a train would be a normal thing? Or is this a human-run world that we need to find some way to so sneak So there's train? humans in the world, but they're used to the bears like being around. So they okay. kind of coexist. Okay. So it's a happy bear-human well, I'm human not coexistence. saying it was a happy bear-human oh, coexistence, but okay. I mean... They, it's a thing. Okay. All right, so I guess we're going to the the train. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, we need to put our human masks on. No, and body suits. just went over that. Just your hats. You know, it's back in my day, we had to pioneer for bare human equality. <laughs> we used to have to wear masks, but now we get by with these fashionable hats. <laughs> I imagine a world where we won't need the hats one day. But I like my hat. <laughs> it's because you're balding, Grandpa. <laughs> what? <laughs> On to the train we go. <laughs> um, okay, so you get on and you are kind of, you've got lots of people or lots of bears following you around, asking for autographs, that kind of thing. Um you finally make your way back to the um, elite car, if you will, um, and you get back there, and of course there's all the special refreshments and the honey fountain and all of those things. Um, and um, in the back corner, um, there's you see all you see is like the red and white fedora over the bear's face. <clears throat> And it, the the bear elf is like chilling in the like a booth or something. Yeah, in the back corner. Okay. Hmm. Well, as soon as Orso walks in, his his nose starts to twitch, <laughs> and he is obviously sensing honey, and uh, he is going to go straight to that honey and just start loading it onto a plate. Yang Yang is just going to go straight for. What did you just call yourself? Yang Yang. You definitely say Yang Gang. <laughs> Yang Gang. Yang, 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 Yang Gang. That was actually a name you wanted to give our group, but we decided not to. <laughs> <laughs> so Yang Yang is just going to make a beeline straight for Bitsy. Uh, yeah, no. So Mel like cuts him off and is like, um, do you think you can handle this? Uh, I'm the one who got the letter, so I think so. Yeah, but I'm the brains. Which well, has been then established. apparently you're going to come with me. Yeah, but I'm doing the talking. Yeah, we'll, we'll do 70-30. 70 me, 30 you. I mean, that's how I run the Yang Gang. <laughs> that's not my name. <laughs> that's not my name. Okay. And so y- Yang just like grab, just like picks her up and just trots forward. Interesting. <laughs> I'm just okay. It's a fun picture. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Barry, you coming? <laughs> yeah, I love. I'll follow behind. Okay, so we sit across. Yeah. You're carrying me. So what do we do? Oh, I just we 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 get to the car and I just kind of like toss you down and you make a noise and I imagine it. Catch the attention of Bitsy and the bear with the 
hat over its face. <laughs> oh, hello. You came. You came. I'm so excited that you're here. Yeah. So what's the proposition? Well, Polar Santa has to have this beehive. It's Abraham Lincoln's beehive. So we're stealing something from the humans. Yes. Yeah, I let's like do it. it. It's stored in Ford's theater. Mm-hmm. We have to have it by Christmas Eve. Because that's when he wraps the presents for the party. Hmm. So what's today? December 17th. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we good on time. We can expedite the shipping of that. <laughs> expedite the shipping. No, you have to bring it directly to Polar Santa's workshop. Which is... South Pole? North Pole. East Pole. pole. Cool. <laughs> All right, to the West Pole we go. So, you have to get it from Ford's Theater. Uh-huh. A Christmas Carol is showing right now, so mm. it's very busy, very crowded. Mm. Um, but you've got to find a way in and find exactly. I can't tell you exactly where it's stored. I just know it's in Ford's Theater. And what's in it for us? <laughs> that was the most shocked look you've ever That's given funny. me. <laughs> <laughs> You will get some of the historical honey of Abraham Lincoln's. I mean, could you, like, throw in something else for us? I mean, what more could you possibly want? Eating historical honey at the North Pole on Christmas with Polar Santa and all the other legendary bears? I mean, Yang Yang could use some more Bamboo. I almost said babu. <laughs> I was like, babu. that's not it. Abu? <laughs> I'll eat a babu. And Barry could use a new cowboy hat. Yes, yes. All of those things will be there for you at the workshop. Oh. Oh, okay. Have you ever been to the North Pole? Do I look like I've ever been to the North Pole? <laughs> so, uh, does, uh, Polar Claws or whatever his name is, uh, you got any Tesla Roadsters that he could uh, spare? You know the... that might be able to be arranged. Okay, then I'm in. You want anything, old man? I mean, what? Old, old bear. Are you talking to me? Yeah. They got human crackers over here. <laughs> you dipping him some honey and it tastes real good. Hey, who's this? You got a nice red and green hat. Or is it red and white? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking at it for crying out loud. Let me get out my bag glasses. <laughs> oh, it's... I'm Bitsy. It's so nice to meet you. Or so. <laughs> <laughs> you have to look at your notes. Yeah. How do you not recognize me? I got a crown on my head. I'm King Orso. That's what they call me. I'm the King of Muscle. Can I call you King Orso? Yeah, that's what I said. I said they call me. <laughs> no, no one calls you King Orson. They all call me that gang gang. <laughs> king King. <laughs> king King. <laughs> oh, so what's the plan? What are we doing? We're still in Theodore Roosevelt's honey heist. <laughs> We're stealing FDR's <laughs> spare glasses. <laughs> oh, good, I could use some. <laughs> and his Rough Riders chaps. I think that's Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> it's close enough. FDR was in a wheelchair. <laughs> oh, that's he, he was. He yeah, had he polio. Was. I didn't. Oh I wanted gosh. to purposefully confuse it because I felt really bad talking about FDR. <laughs> God rest his soul. Yeah. We're getting the. Oh, hey, hey, how you doing? Yeah, this is oh, wrong oh, podcast. Oh, there's flowers all over the place. Why am I old now? Yeah. Oh my gosh! I'm so confused. This train is magical. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, um, you know that the train is going to is it? You're riding the train from uh, Texas. <laughs> Texas. To, oh, I thought you were going to say Chicago. So it's like Chicago Bears. Okay, we can do Chicago the Bears. No, nah, go with Texas. The Bears. The Bears. Okay, so you're riding the train. You're on the convoy, the con, mm-hmm. and you are going. 
the train will stop in D.C. Mm. Um, so you've got to ride straight there. Um, hey! And I grab Barry. D.C.? I think there's a theater there. We should go see a play. <laughs> yeah, I guess we could cut the driver out, though, since we don't need him anymore. Who's the driver? Exactly. Well, the train doesn't <laughs> drop you off at the theater. Oh. Well, damn it! <laughs> this ruined my plans completely. Um. So, what are you doing to prepare for what? Do, what does the team do to prepare for heists? Now, little mittens. And I'm looking at Mel. I think what we have to do is we have to come up with a plan. Now, once upon a time, whenever I was wearing. A crown? fez hat instead of a crown. No, I took this crown from my the dead body of my. I mean, <laughs> God rest his soul. No, I was just saying that we need to come up with a plan. <laughs> I've seen some stuff. So, um, I'm gonna say y'all interrupt me if you don't agree, but that we like move away from Bitsy, don't you think? Or do we stay with her and plan with her? No, cut this broad out. We need to do our own thing. <laughs> So yeah, asking your character. Asleep at this point. I'm, I'm always in character. <laughs> <laughs> Even after the game. So. <laughs> this is me now. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> we said we gotta cut the broad out and make a plan. Oh. Okay. I'm very old fashioned. <laughs> okay, so we like go to a booth and Mel pulls out. Um, like paper and a pen and starts like sketching the theater. She's a very good drawer. Usually I did all these with macaroni art. <laughs> Maybe that's why our heist always went south. Barry pulls out his paw pad and starts <laughs> looking up this blueprints for Ford's theater. Nice. Yang Yang is sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds all right. He's been lulled into a deep sleep by the rocking of the train. Okay, so what, how do we know what, like, our skills are? Our like, skills? Yeah, like, who would be oh. good at stealing? Who would be good um, at running? And It has to do with your bear stealing. skill. Um, so you have, well, Kara, do you want to talk about the bear skill and thief skill? No, you're better at the rules. Okay, um, but we all have a bear level and a criminal level. We start out at three. Mm-hmm. And there's rules on the back of your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! And the, the rules for this game are on the back of your character sheets. We but probably should have said that. Before. Whenever you want to do something, you take a D6 and you roll it and you try to get underneath that number. If you are an expert at this, like it's something like that has to do with your bear skill, you get two. Or if it has to do with like your heist roll, you get two. But you roll those dice and you try to get under bear or criminal to succeed in what you do. So as the game goes on, our bear level and our criminal level will change. Mm-hmm. Um, so if we want, like, if we're, if we get frustrated by something, like the plan goes wrong, we take away from our criminal level and put it in our bear level. But if something goes well without a hitch in our, in the plan, then we take away from bear level and put in criminal. And, but if we get to six in either one, like we're out of the game because if we get to six with bear, we freak out and go totally bear and bestial. Uh, and if we get six in criminal, we become a criminal mastermind and betray the team. So you want to trade between your bear and criminal level to keep them from getting the six. Um, so with you eating the honey when we first got on the train, when you first got on the train, were you, that was bear thing? No, I was just, I was just eating the honey. But if you want me to take a point in bear, I can. Yeah. Okay. Then I will up my bear level to four and my criminal level to two. <laughs> We really need to do some crime before I what's get your, one what's your base? criminal. Three. Everybody has a base of three. Hmm. We're trying not to get to six? Yeah, don't let it get to six. Um, I roar very loudly three times. <laughs> JK. The, the back mm-hmm. says you're not a talking bear. No, but you understand each other. Yeah. The humans Got wouldn't be able to understand it. you. Got yeah. it. Great. Okay. Okay, so really, like, anyone could be good at anything, theoretically. Just depending on your role. 
Hmm. Like any any one of us could be good. Yeah, at, but like, certain ones right. might be better at something. Like if, um, like basically with our descriptors and stuff, with our bear skill, our descriptor, our heist role, if we could somehow work that into what we're doing, we might get a extra d six. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Um, so, but we don't know where, okay, so back in character, sorry guys, um, so we don't know where the beehive is. She said Fort's Theater. Yeah, but she doesn't know where in Fort's Theater. Honey, I don't know if you know this about me, you're kind of new to the group, but also the sun bear, I pointed my nose. I got the honey sense. Yeah, but you also can't remember where you were for the last five minutes. What can I remember? Are those animal crackers over there? I mean, human crackers over there? <laughs> oh, I get the reference now. Yeah, That's funny. I'm going to go back to the... Oh, no, I'm not, because I do not want to take away from my bear level. Or my criminal level, because I'm already you struggling. Them. Ooh. Or you can from somebody else. pocket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just gonna keep eating the ones I have okay. that will not raise my bear level. <laughs> Your other GM, if she wants it to. Um. So we get there. We need to find out where the beehive is. We need to have someone distracting the humans. We need to seal it, and then we need to get to the North Pole. It's not too complicated of a heist. Mm-hmm. And if we need anybody who needs some roughing up, I bat my claws together. You know your man. It's okay. me. I don't know if you got that. Yeah, yeah, I, I got it. Okay, I forgot you the brains. We all unfortunately got it. Thank you. Where is like, hey, look, who's awake? <laughs> I like wake up to make a comment. <laughs> when I roll back over. Uh, he's always That's a quick life. A quick one with a quip, that one. Um... Okay, so Barry, what are you good at? Everything. Oh, okay. Okay, and you pick I mean, one. I'm a hacker. I'm slick. I can, uh, I can terrify people. He's pretty scary. Look at his face. It's true. Yeah. So you may be able to actually get and steal the beehive. I think. And maybe if there's a lock on it, you could. And I can bust it open because I'm the muscle. Yeah, we got that. I just want to remind everybody that I'm the strong one. No one cares. And he rolls back over. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use the drawing and the blueprints You to know where to go. What's your face or so? You're going to sniff out the beehive. Uh-huh. Let us know where. I'm going to direct you and Barry. Y'all are going to get it. Me and Yang Yang are going to distract everyone. And Yang Yang is going to get the car ready for when we need to leave. I love it when a plan comes together. Everybody good? Sounds like a plan. So at this point, you're all going to head to your bunks, as it were. Um, And let's see. How do I want to do this? Or so. Mm -hmm. Because you're all going to be staying in separate bunks. So we're all in separate cave bunks? Yes. Appropriately bear-sized cave bunks. Yes. <laughs> Except for Mel. It's just like Bear a time. giant, <laughs> giant cavernous hole. Um, so, um, or so, when you get back to your um, room or whatever, bunk, um, you hear a on your door. Who, who is it? Um, uh... Is this Mr. Orso? Yes. I mean, no. It's... Mm, no, it's Orso. <laughs> I couldn't think of another name. <laughs> My name is Boots. Can I come in? I had a friend named Boots once. <laughs> Maybe it's him. I open the door. <laughs> is it him? It's a little cub. You're not Boots. You're a little cub. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a... A little polar cub. Um, and so she comes in. Okay, just make yourself at home. <laughs> and she, like, shuts the door behind her. <laughs> and What's going on here? 
I I saw you talking to um I saw you talking to Bitsy out there. Who's she? She had a red and white fedora. Oh yeah, it was real nice. Yeah. Um um she's she's kind of uh well, I know Polar Santa too and and sometimes she pretends to be something that she's not. Do you mean she's not a polar bear? What kind of bear is she? I've seen a lot. Well, no, she's not a polar bear, but you probably know that because she was obviously a black bear. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was a little confused. <laughs> I thought that, I guess that was just my old way of thinking. That she was a polar bear and that she went for polar Santa. I don't know why I didn't notice that her black fur wasn't white. <laughs> Must have been all the honey. Look, I need you to focus, okay? Yeah, I focused. <laughs> I don't know exactly what she's up to, but I know it's no good. I saw her sneaking around in Polar Santa's office, and and I think she might have written y'all a letter to ask you for help. Yeah, she did. But we have nobody's seen Polar Santa recently. What? Who's going to deliver the honey-themed Christmas presents? <laughs> oh, wait. I could do it. I'm old. Do I need to push him off a roof? <laughs> no, that's not how it works here. Oh, it's a different movie, I guess. <laughs> I, think she's, I think she's kidnapped him, and, and we don't know where he is or what she wants. Well, we're going to Ford's Theater. We'll probably find him there. No, I, I don't think he's at Ford's Theater, but I think what she wants is at Ford's Theater, but I don't know what's going to happen. All right, I'm going to write this down so I don't forget it. I take out a piece of paper and I just start like, or a piece of wood and I just start scratching things into it. But halfway through, I forget what I'm writing. So it just says, what's her name? <laughs> Bitsy is. <laughs> oh, oh, her name is Bitsy. Yeah, yeah, Bitsy. I just scrawl in or scratch in. Bitsy is. Now look down at Boots. Oh, what are you doing here? Okay, well, um, Bitsy can't know I'm here, so I gotta go. Okay, see you later, Bitsy. And I close the door. <laughs> she slips out and goes back to her. Um, she doesn't actually have a room, but she's, like, hiding on the train. Well, maybe I should offer her my room. Oh, well, I'm the muscle. I need this bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna lay back down on my bear bed. <clears throat> All right, and so the next morning, bright and early, you get up, it's time for breakfast. Do we have honey and biscuits? Always. Yeah. It's like world famous honey and biscuits at the con. You know, I think I might have stole these biscuits once. <laughs> Back in the day before Yang Yang was washed up. So never. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sick bird! <laughs> We slap claws. <laughs> That's what the little cubs say nowadays. Hey, I got a message from Boots last night. Who's Boots? She wasn't a black bear, I can tell you that. <laughs> but she said that, and he pulls out his chunk of wood. Bitsy is. <laughs> Bitsy, Bitsy is, is what? What? <laughs> hey! Bitsy is what? She was sitting right over there. I remember it. I was eating some animal crackers. I mean, human crackers. Bitsy, Bitsy is what? Or so. I don't know. I'm sure it will come to me later. <laughs> or so, why are you on this team? <laughs> I was retired. <laughs> I was off the team. Gosh. But they keep dragging me back in. It's the, it's the person you talked to last night on uh -huh. this train. The, the bear. Yeah, the bear she, you talked to last yeah, night. Yeah, she knocked train. on my door. Okay, where is she? Do you see her? Do I see her on the train? Or in this uh, car, I guess? Um, you So there's a tablecloth over the table with all of the food on it, and you, you notice that the... Um... <laughs> there she is. It's actually perfect if you could hear that. Um, but you, you see the tablecloth kind of like move just like a curtain when there's somebody behind it, and you walk really fast. Mm -hmm. So it like moves. Nope, I'll see you. <laughs> but I'm gonna go over here and check this curtain real quick. I go over there. Is Boots there? 
Um, Boots is there, and she's got a biscuit in each hand with honey on it. I appreciate your style, kid. Hey, could you help? What was this? this boot Bitsy is. Was she, it good? Um, <laughs> she just looks at you with big eyes and scurries off. Oh, okay. I wasn't going to squish you, but I was probably going to steal those biscuits anyways. <laughs> Worse. <laughs> because she can't be seen. <clears throat> like, she doesn't want to get seen. Because Bitsy can't know she's there. She's a ninja. Okay, well, I'm going to chase after her. Instead of joining the group, I just chase after her. I'm going to see what's happening and follow him. So she, like, leads you into this clearly, like, forgotten... Um, what do they call them? A car? Cars. Um, it's like, it's like got all the, the storage, like the storage type things you would have. Mm -hmm. It's like the backstage of the con or whatever. Um, and so. Here's the float from last year. (laughs) Right. So she's in there and she's like hiding in a corner. (gasps) I'm going to use my honey sense to sniff out where she is. I roll 2d6 and I'm trying to get under my bear level. I do with one, so I'm going to take that one. So I do. Where is she? So she's in the back corner. She's hidden actually inside one of the boxes that she's kind of created. Like she emptied out and stuff so that she has a place to sleep while she's there. Okay. I sniff over to her box and I open it up. And there she is. Zoe, what are you doing? Fancy meeting you here. I just didn't want Bitsy to see me. Oh, that's right. Bitsy. I turn. Is Barry right behind me? Barry, I forgot to tell you. Last night, Boots came to me and told me that Bitsy is... I lift up the board. Damn it, I forgot. (laughs) Bitsy's not what you think. I think she kidnapped... Polar (laughs) Santa. I was going to say Panda Santa. (laughs) You remember Polar Santa? (laughs) I think she kidnapped Polar Santa. What... Why do you think that? Because he's missing, and I saw her in his office, and I think she was writing y'all a letter. So, do you want us to get this Santa Paws back or something? It's actually Polar Santa. <laughs> That's yep. what I said. Why do you keep saying it? You keep saying it wrong. Even I know it's not that. <laughs> like, you remember what I said. What'd you say? <laughs> uh, what did you say? What? Yay, yeah, yay! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just and, like it's just like it's like a cartoon. He like pushes over. into the frame, and I just push him back out of the frame. <laughs> so we should probably find this bitsy and sit on her. <laughs> That's my form of muscle. <laughs> Do you have any any evidence? Any anything? Just what I saw, which is what I just told you. I don't know if that'll hold up in bear court. What she tells? Yes, bear court. It's notoriously strict on the bear laws. <laughs> <laughs> so l- why don't you let us? Uh, we got we got the muscle. Yeah, that's me. With Dorso. That's my name. We got some brains. We got some people who don't give a. We don't and, know. Uh, we don't know their names. <laughs> and uh, we can we can protect you if you want to go accuse Bitsy of whatever it is you think she did. She's wanting to operate outside the law. The bear court will never prosecute her. I'm actually an expert in bear law. Oh, yeah, I forgot you were a bear lawyer. Before you turn to your life of crime. I am slick. I know how to game the system. I could be a politician. You got the face for it. All right, game knowledge. What the heck? Why... So now we know that Bitsy is probably not doing what she should be doing. Are, how close are we to uh, Ford's Theater? Like, are we almost to be there? Yeah. Okay. So, Barry, should we tell the brain broad about this? <laughs> the, the brain broad? Yeah, that's Mel? Right. Huh? The honey badger? Yeah, the honey badger. Why would we tell her? She doesn't give a... <laughs> <laughs> honey. <laughs> honey. Honey. Nah, yeah, we should probably tell her. Uh, and if if the panda's awake, I guess he can he can hear it too. You gonna tell 
Actually, no, you're not telling anything. I'll Who tell are we telling? Okay, let's just follow me, Grandpa. All right, let's go this way. I smell some honey this way. Do y'all get a point because it went off without a hitch? I don't know if we were really doing a criminal thing, though. I mean, we found her. Gotcha. Would we get a point in that? Sure. Sorry, Barry. <laughs> so now I'm back to 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> Wait, that was criminal? Yeah, so yeah. now you move one out of, out of honey into a uh, criminal. So now you're at a 2-4? Yeah. So at this point, like, you've, like, kind of walked back, and y'all are like, well, where could she be, blah, 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 blah. And she just... <clears throat> hey, Bitsy, how's it going? She just blends into everything with that white fur. So we had, we had some questions for you, but before we have some questions, I was just telling uh, my friend Orso That's here me. a story. So I was at the restaurant, right, and I said, uh, bring me a honeycomb with the honey on the side. If the honey comes on top, I send it back. He said that. He actually did. I was there. And then she brought it. It was on the side. It was great. So anyway, we had a few questions for you. Yada, 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 yada. Do you want your honey on top or do you want it on the bottom? That sounds like an innuendo. Would you like somebody (laughs) to butter your muffin? (laughs) I'm not going to do it. I'm old. But Barry's up for anything. (laughs) Look at him. He's a slick, handsome young man. I mean, man. Okay, we're moving. Okay, we're moving. So, <laughs> so while that's going on, over here, we have um, Mel and Yang Yang, and they are... Um, so last night, Mel, like, because she's smart and she figures she should keep track of everything, watched where, like, which cart Bitsy went into, so she mm-hmm. knows which one is hers. Um, so they go in there and... Mel, like, is there a lock on it? Um, yes. Okay, so Mel picks the lock and heads in. That'd be a roll, right? Yeah. So I roll 2d6 and then pick the lowest? Well, she wouldn't roll two unless she has, like, something that would... So I roll one. What would, what would, what would go into, like, any of your descriptors, what would go into that? My descriptors? Like, you're, you, oh, you oh, are oh, the oh, brains. Oh, brains, so yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. So if any zombies come, they go in for her first. Five. Uh, I guess I guess the brains happen. doesn't mean she has to be the leader. She does have to be the thinker, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So I got five on both. So nothing, right? It doesn't work. It has to be oh, lower. Yeah. Then. yeah, you have to do lower. Okay. So then Yang Yang tries. Well. Well. Okay. So she um attempts to. But being the honey badger that she is and a rookie, like, instead of picking the lock and it still, like, staying in place, like, she she gets the lock, but, like, it's mangled. Okay, but we get in. So you just break the lock? Mm-hmm. Does she go okay. up in bear for that? Yeah. Since she's a... Since she failed her yes. criminal? Okay. So she's, like, trying to be sneaky and then she couldn't do it. And she's like, I don't give up. <sighs> <laughs> okay, okay, cool. Okay, so with her sharp teeth, she just like rips the doorknob off and like. That's a, that's a picture of it, right? In. Yeah, right. <laughs> this picture is real creepy on here. Um, that's you. Dude, it's fine. Um, so yeah, so they get in there, looking around. Do we both roll for to see what we find? Um, I guess that would be the right thing to do. Yeah. What? How would they? Would they do a bear or a criminal? I think that'd be a criminal thing. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Criminal. What are... Oh, yeah. Just do it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to roll with two with brains because I know what would be suspicious. <laughs> yep. Didn't happen. Did not oh happen. God. Sees was... nothing. <laughs> I got five and six. <laughs> Man. So what Zach. are you trying to roll for? Like... <laughs> so... Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Honey Heist. <laughs> Okay, so um, you're going to roll just one because I can't think of a way. But I'm you're trying to get food. under three. Yeah. But, I mean, you could roll two because I dropped the bamboo. So you're, like, That's also true. finding bamboo. Oh, okay. yeah. GM? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we got a three and a one. Cool. So you were successful, right? Because you got a one. Isn't that right? If it's below, yeah. yeah. If one of if at least one of them is below your, and I score. have to step up my bear. Yes. Okay. 
Um, so what are y'all looking for? So here's a, here's my question for changing states for frustration. It says when the plan fails and you run into difficulty, move one point from criminal into bear. So is this every time she fails or is it every time like the plan doesn't go according to what she wants? Oh, I thought you were talking about upping it because of the last, the, because of the lock, not because of this. Mm. I didn't, I didn't mean for you to up it because of that. Okay. 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 I'm so is she still at four and two? Yeah. Or two and four? Cool. Yeah. Wait, no, your bear's higher, so it would be four and two? Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So what are y'all looking for at this point? Um, we are looking for any sign that she has Polar Santa or has a plan to get Polar Santa. So, like, um, any sort of notebook we could thumb through or, like... Panty rays. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, anything that belongs to Polar Santa. Um, or Polar Santa himself. <laughs> Polar Santa's in the closet. <laughs> no. Um, so you find um, this, like, napkin that has um, on the, like, it's all folded up. And it says, my evil plan. (laughs) 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 And then you open it up and there you see um, that she has, in fact, kidnapped Polar Santa. And she's um, obviously using him to get to the um, Abraham Lincoln's beehive. Um, and you, part of it is smudged out, but you see, and all you can see is like a drawing of what looks like maybe a bomb going off, but Mm -hmm. like, it's like a a part of the plan in the middle is like smudged out. So you can't see all of it, but you see that polar Santa and then an explosion. Mm. Do we see any, like any clue to where polar Santa is? Um, you can gather that he is probably somewhere near the beehive. Cool. Okay. Okay, so Mel is going to throw all of, not all of, half of the rest of the bamboo she has in her pocket out the door. (laughs) (laughs) To lure Yang Yang outside. Uh (laughs) And says, yeah, says Yang Yang, go go get that bamboo. Ooh, where'd you find this? And he just, like, kind of goes on. And then uh, Mel, like, like, straightens it. everything up and gets out. Oh, and on the way, she steals... Um, she steals a pair of headphones that... What's her face? Bitsy. Bitsy has, like, on her little cart thing. Okay. For criminal activity. Okay. Got it. Why are you? I just, I need to up my criminal level. Oh, you up your criminal by... I'll be your Uncle <laughs> I love it. Sorry. Um, the way you up your criminal is... It's whenever the plan goes off without a hitch, or you flash back to a time that you were a criminal and you did something. Do a flashback. Okay. I'll just remember that. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, you mean right now? Well, like it would be, it would have to be a flashback about like something related to what you're doing. Okay, so as Mel steps out and tries to shut the door but fails because the handle has been chewed off, (laughs) she flashes back to the first time her and her father broke into a room on a train. Was your father part of the original not Yang Gang? Sure. (gasps) Yes. That's why she's on the team. Yeah. To um, steal backstory the crown that um, Orso now wears. Nice. Thank you. (laughs) I like it. (laughs) My crown has gone through your gotten gains. Obviously. I mean, we are criminals. (laughs) I don't know why this is shocking to me. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay, 
So um, back at the barn, as it were. Huh? No, I was just, what is the thing? <laughs> Isn't it like, part. meanwhile on the back at the Meanwhile ranch. at the League of Justice? <laughs> no, it's like, no, oh, anyways, it was, it was trying to make a reference. Meanwhile at the Hall of Justice. <laughs> meanwhile, then, back with Orso and. Yeah, let's pick it up. What were we talking about? Barry. Uh, and Bitsy. And he thought we were trying to sell him insurance the entire time. Yeah, he said he was going to burn down the warehouse. Uh, I mean, we ended up doing it. It wasn't part of the plan, but oh well. Sometimes you have to improvise. Oh, you guys crack me up. Good. So, do you have your plan ready? What are we planning? Is it somebody's birthday? <laughs> I thought everybody would forget. I'm so glad they remembered this year. That's so sad. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, we got the plan. It's just... uh. I wrote it on a napkin, and I can't. Can you help me find it? I think I dropped it. <laughs> or so, or so, like grabs a container of napkins, just like crushes it, and all these napkins fall on the floor. <laughs> we should probably start by looking through this. <laughs> she <laughs> looks at y'all, and she's like, "Are you kidding me?" It would be. It would be a uh, very appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> she's like ah i get it and then she just walks off <laughs> <laughs> what who's gonna pick all these napkins up <laughs> let's just walk away yeah, let's just walk away <laughs> well like at that point mel and yang yang show up look guys i found all this bamboo <laughs> you you vegetarians why can't you ever eat something good for you like honey <laughs> or yeah, snakes <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, all right, chill out with that. Snake. Severus Snake. <laughs> Snake. Anyways, um, so Mel slides in and is like, Yang Yang thought something super interesting. And pulls out the journal. Napkin. Napkin. <laughs> so y'all took the napkin? Did oh, is that why you said the plane was written on the napkin? Yeah. No. Oh. It just happened you did? to work out yep. that way. Okay. Talk Harry. She's a GM. We found this napkin. It no. details the plan. <laughs> Have you ever RPG'd before in your life? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so I assume that you divulged this napkin to the other players. So what was written so on it? I know the plan. Because David wasn't listening. <laughs> What Orso would like to know. You weren't listening either, were you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, so the plan on the napkin showed that Bitsy is definitely planning or has already taken Polar Santa. Looks like she already yeah. took him, and he's probably near the beehive that Abe and Lincoln has. And then there's has. an explosion. Where? That's the part that we don't know. The middle of the plan was smudged out, but at the end, there's a bomb that goes off. Mm. What? It sounds like my old pal Jerry, the explosive expert, is involved. <laughs> yeah? Can you get in contact with him? It's going no, to he blew himself up. I don't know why I said that he was involved explosive. in it. Did you just try to make a bear pun? <laughs> it's bear patastic. <laughs> you know, just shove some more of that bamboo in your face. <laughs> All right, that's some grizzly humor. So, <laughs> so we need to get to the theater. We need to find Polar Santa. Oh. We, I think, we need to split the party. <gasps> Rock paper scissors on who gets Yang Yang. I'm Don't too you mean to make a decision? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Are we doing nose goes? You this isn't fair. Yang yang. You know my reflexes are way too slow. I can't do nose goes with you youngsters. Fine, all right. It'll be you like get me. That's right, buddy. Just like the old days when we were the only two originally involved. And yeah. my father. God rest his soul. <laughs> Is he the explosive expert? <laughs> <laughs> no, that was Jerry. So it's about supper time at this point. <laughs> Um, and God, so, we've been talking for a long time. It's still <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> how long does this take? 
<laughs> I know my days go by really quick now, but I, this is a little ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, supper time for you, though, is like 3 yeah, o'clock. Yeah, it's 3 there. o'clock. It's early bird special. Supper. It's early bear special. Um, and um, you notice that um, you haven't seen Bitsy, like, mm-hmm. the rest of the afternoon or whatever. Um, and so y'all are lining up for, like, going through the line for supper. And... Um, what order are you standing in in line? Well, it's obviously elders first, so I'm in the front. And then Yang Yang pushes you out. <laughs> Just it's like old fun. times. <laughs> no respect for his elders. What are we? What are we eating for dinner? Supper. Um, <gasps> honey glazed salmon. Yes. Is that right? Mm. All right. So, uh, Barry, seeing the salmon goes back to a place in his mind where he's just splashing through a river and salmon are jumping up and he's just <sighs> catching them in his jaws and ripping them to shreds. And he just has that really peaceful memory as he's standing behind these buffoons. Are uh, you trying to mind. up your bear? Yeah. Is that not, that's not how bear The works. way you up your bear is that you eat a lot of honey, like way no. too much. Okay. But I mean GM. <laughs> no, 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 it's I, okay. No, I, I like that, so I'm... <laughs> All right, I'll do it this time, but I'm sorry, yeah. I didn't. I, no, I wasn't okay. aware. Do you have a tissue? Um, so I'm yeah. assuming that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that Mel is at the back of the group, as it were. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, uh, all of a sudden, Mel gets yanked out of the cart and like into. I say the cart, the car, and into, like, the next one. Okay. Do we notice anything, or is it just, like, silent? Look uh, at the salmon. It's silent. Okay. We're very distracted. This is delicious. <laughs> um, so, Mel, um, Bitsy has grabbed you, uh, like, covered your mouth right. and yanked you back into the other cart. I think you have something that's mine. And what would that be? You know what I'm talking about. I really don't. I mean, I have the letter you wrote me, and uh, that's about it. What happened to my doorknob? <laughs> I don't know. Why would I know what happened to your doorknob? I know it was you. Well, considering I don't back. know what happened to your doorknob. I said give it back. <laughs> that was so good. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hurt my hand? <laughs> Look, I still don't know what you want. So you're going to have to detail something out or you I'm going to walk out. You know what I of want? Car. I want Abraham Lincoln's beehive. I mean Santa Panda. <sighs> Santa Panda? I don't think you know Santa Panda. Santa Panda doesn't exist. He works exclusively Polar in China. Santa wants Abe Lincoln's beehive. Okay, well we're kind of on the train to get there. So if you want to, like, chill a little bit, that'd be cool. I need the napkin back. Mel rears back and, like, headbutts Bitsy. <laughs> Damn. Because she doesn't, she doesn't give a honey. <laughs> and roll. Okay. What is she trying to beat, though? Is she trying to beat the bear or the criminal? This would be her bear roll. Okay. And what? carnage. Is my skill. <laughs> and Bitsy dies. One. <laughs> so, are you hoping to just knock her out? Yeah. Okay. She's going to rip her apart <laughs> with her razor sharp teeth. <laughs> no, I just want to like knock her out and leave. Okay. So, you are successful. <laughs> okay, cool. In knocking her out. So, I knock her out and then. Scurry back to where everybody is. Sorry. You're fine. <laughs> and um, come up to all of y'all, and I'm like, all right, how close are we to the theater? I don't um, know. I've been trying arrive, down in the south. We arrive in D.C. in the morning. Okay, so we need to talk, and, like, Mel scurries over to the next booth. 
Do not follow. But we're sitting over here. Yeah, we oh, you already sit down? I thought Look you were still in line. Yeah, we've been brats. eating the salmon. Where have you? I saved your plate. It's, I mean... It's salmon. I got you a plate, but the I ate L it. Is in my day, it was salmon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just sit down with y'all. Look, Bitsy just tried to attack me, and I may have knocked her out for a wee bit under some other circumstances, but we need to either tie her up or get out of here or something. Why I was I? just going to say, did you tie her up? Like, that was the first thing that came to my mind. Why don't I just go sit on her? That sounds like an unbearable situation. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid bad puns. I think, do y'all just, we should just go look at the situation. We could push her out of the cart. No, I don't think that's we necessary. We don't need to kill her. her. We're not murdering her if we don't know what happens to her. My gosh, Yang Yang, we're criminals, not murderers. This is the first law that her dad set up. <laughs> Mel, the first Mel. She's Mel the second. It was Mel. He's Mel then. Oh, she, yes, he was Melvin. I remember now we called him Mel because it was a nickname. I'm Melanie. Sure, that's what she said. <laughs> that's what she said. That's what she said. Okay, so I like run back to the cart. That Where is she going? Bitsy said. <laughs> Let's just follow her. Come on. Okay. <laughs> leave the salmon. You want me to leave the salmon? <laughs> okay. I take the salmon with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. We get there. Is she still there? Um, she is not. Yeah, oh right my on. gosh. She's dead. Where's this She's little bit? She's dead, you idiot. She's oh. hiding somewhere. That's even worse. <laughs> All right, everybody search this cart. Is the panda asleep or is he awake? Um, I'm barely awake. <laughs> Just keep feeding that bamboo, big fella. We're going right. to need you to drive us sometime. <laughs> mm-hmm. Are we searching for her? Mm-hmm. Um, this is impossible. Man, uh, I don't think I have anything. Yeah, me around. neither. I think it's just a. But what are we rolling under, bear or criminal? Probably bear, because we'll be sniffing for. Oh yeah, good one. Is that GM? You okay with mm-hmm. that? Damn it! <laughs> I rolled a six. I rolled a three. I rolled a two. You notice um, what looks like. I guess, like, drag marks across the floor. Mm-hmm. So, somebody removed her. Mm-hmm. Guys, 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 look. What is it? She had somebody take her out. Well, somebody found her. Right? Yeah, you took her out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like sure, that coffee. you remember. <laughs> like for coffee? I have a very specific criminal memory. No, like out on a date. <laughs> no. That's, isn't that a date? Look isn't coffee at a the date? floor. <laughs> hey, look at these skid marks. <laughs> Whoa, there's skid marks. Look at that. <laughs> Thanks, Horso, for finding these. Must have been some punks peeling out or something. No. No, it was Bitsy being dragged out of here. Did you drag <gasps> you her dragged out, out of here? No, no, I... <laughs> you have the brains. <laughs> I guess that was pretty smart of you. Mel just like and just follows the marks and like walks off. Hey, where's she going? I think she's looking for bamboo. Let's go. All right, I'll follow you. Okay. You go into the next cart. We suck. And um, (laughs) you see her propped up against one of the walls. Mm hmm. Um, and her body is ripped to shreds. <laughs> her throat is slit and her tongue is pulled out. Oh my god, there's another <laughs> honey badger on this train. <laughs> Colombian necktie. Um, and okay. she's just rubbing her head where you had better. Man, that didn't last as long as I thought it was going to. I'm gonna sit on her! I found her! Where is he? And right. Mel is like looking around trying to see the person who dragged her in here. Can I Can I roll to okay. sit? You may roll to sit. <laughs> Ooh, thank God for that one. Okay, I sit on her. What What are you... Why are sit, you I sitting sit. on me? Shut up, Bitsy. The jig is up. <laughs> I definitely thought you said something else. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all didn't hear me earlier then when I said, where is that little bitch? <laughs> I did hear them. that. I oh. just didn't catch it. I didn't hear it. Um, the jig me. is up. 
The jig's not up. The jig's already started. Where's well, Polar then. Santa? We're dancing? <laughs> Son of a gun. Why are you on this team? <laughs> I'll tell you where Polar Santa is as soon as I get the beehive. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, that was good. That was good. I mean, I wanted to get the beehive anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so this kind of works out for me. One All right. Last, one last heist. That something was exploding. Are we crunched for time here? Is, is uh, what's... Well, she's kind of crunching beneath my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I need it by Christmas Eve. And it's December the 17th. <laughs> no, that was like three days ago. Uh, <laughs> it was the longest train ride ever. We've been on this train for days. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long it takes to get from Texas to D.C. <laughs> by train. I should have Googled that. Well, by, bear, not wrong. by bear train. By a bear power train. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a long time. Um, <laughs> I, I don't say? know. What day do y'all think it is? If we want to be December crunched for time, then it should be the 23rd. <laughs> right. At yeah. like 6 p.m. We've been on this train for six days, I think. <laughs> What's seven <laughs> times? Yeah. It's one, two, three, four. Yeah, six. I'm retired. I told you that. You said what seven times? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Okay. Uh, sorry. I'm the muscle. <laughs> Today is the 22nd. Oh. Damn. Because tomorrow morning will be the 23rd when we Beavers, get there. Damn. Gotcha. Okay. Well, um, Betsy, sorry, but we just can't trust you anymore. And we're going to have to tie you up for the remainder of the trip. And you're going to have to tell us everything you know. So you it's a rough day for you. bamboo. <laughs> I don't think she has any bamboo, bud. No one has bamboo but you. You're the only panda on this train. <laughs> you can tie me up and do what you want, but the plan is already... <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, we'll do what we want. <laughs> this son man's a little freaky. <laughs> Even I picked up on that one. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> we have the giggles. Yeah, we do. Golly. You can tie me up, but the plan is already in place. By whom? By me. Yeah, I just don't think you're that smart. <laughs> she throws. Damn, girl! <laughs> she throws or so. so off. Ah! Why did you have to pick the most complicated thing? And she... Or, or so? She What's grabs so Honey Badger by the neck. <gasps> okay, hold on. How big is Bitsy? Is she like a Bitsy Bitsy? She's, she's a black bear. She's a black bear. So she's pretty okay. big. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's an ironic name. I think she's actually bigger than all of us, except for the grizzly bear. Yeah, I'm going to need some help. If she can throw me off the muscle, we're in trouble. Hey, uh, how about you calm down there, Bitsy? Give me one reason why I should calm down. I'm going to terrify her. And I'm going to use my bear to do it. (laughs) Son of a gun! Uh, No, you're right. I got nothing. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let me just... Now look, I'm going to let you go because I need you. But no more questions. But that's barely impossible. She lets go, and she had lifted her up off the ground, and so she drops her. Okay, so I, like, fall, which kind of, like, throws me off for Mm -hmm. a second. And then I look back up and bite her ankle. Oh, my gosh. It's a cat bear fight. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Is this bear? Are you using carnage for that? Uh (laughs) Three. I succeed. So you bite her, and that ticks her off, so she backhands you. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's just, let's just calm down. Orso, are you going to do anything about this? I'm digging myself out of this pile of crates. I'll be there in a second. Just, uh, hey, hey, hey. Let's calm down. Tell us what we need to know for tomorrow. We'll get you stupid. I already told you what you need to know. The hive is in the theater. Do you know anything else? Yeah, Toyota Theater. <laughs> That's <Do> funny. You... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, it's poor. <laughs> do you have disguises? Do you have shifts for the guards? Do you have 
anything since you're so smart? I, okay. <laughs> yes, dear. Three. Yes, bear. Um, <clears throat> I can give you the names of the security guards. That's pretty useful. All right, we'll take them out. That way we can say their name and assume their identity. That's how it works, right? We can we can just make human noises. We can't really say words. That's true. So hopefully there's like a bob. And I can be like, <laughs> <laughs> The security guards are bears. <gasps> That's perfect. Traitors. Oh, yeah, working for the humans. How dare they? It's a bear eat bear world out there. <laughs> so... Out of story. Would the names be helpful for... I don't know. Well, as bear That's security you, guards, I think they could be pretty... Because we could be like, hey, Paul. Hey, hey, Paul over here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just have me on a whisper so, track. <clears throat> the guards' names are Humphrey, Behringer, and Theodore. <laughs> so... Okay, so we got the names. <clears throat> and you're not going to choke any more of us. <laughs> and nobody's going to bite anybody. <clears throat> Maybe. Let's, good night. Let's get a good night's and rest. And she leaves and goes to her cabin. She's a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> I put a tracker on it. <laughs> Does, False. False. From biting her, did my bear level increase? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> yeah. You're starting to look a little rabbit over there, honey. Ah. Oh, yeah. Chill out. <laughs> you reminded me of Melvin. Her eyes flickered red for a second. <laughs> Wait, but do you remember that one I time style. that you were just on the team and you, you broke re- into do you a remember? car? <laughs> do you remember? And you broke into a train car and you stole that plan. Do you remember that? that was it's like it was today. It was like it's, <laughs> it's like it was earlier today. <laughs> I think this memory problem is getting worse. <laughs> My memory is contagious. Do you remember? <laughs> Wait, so are you trying to reduce her? <laughs> yeah. She's a five. Yeah, she's, you're really I'm high on that bear her. skill. I'm, like, I'm imagining she's like foaming at the mouth and I'm like, hey, come on, remember. Uh-huh. remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And then I also remember the 21st night of September. I, I. This is a specific night. <laughs> I I went with my dad on on his last heist and it was really f- fun and we stole something <laughs> jewels we really like crowns and jewels from Bush's jewelry store <laughs> and since and since then has it just gone on and on and on on and on and on <laughs> <laughs> Is that acceptable, Gina? That's acceptable. <laughs> Yay! God rest Melvin's soul. I wish I could have planned that Jerry's timed explosives were going to go off right as he was bringing out the cantaloupes. If only I had known. I mean, I did know. But I just was a bad, bad planner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then let's get some rest. I know, I need to rest. sleep. I'm sorry. It is getting a little late for you. I know it's 6 p.m. It's practically midnight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Orso's going to retire for the night. Mel does too. She may not like go to sleep right away, but she like goes to be by herself. Yang Yang has already been sleeping <laughs> during the conversation, and so he just stays asleep <laughs> yeah. where he's at. He doesn't yeah. go back to. He his sleeps room. in the cargo car. <laughs> Barry's gonna stand against the wall with a toothpick in his mouth, looking. Under his cowboy looking hat longingly brim, looking looking yeah, yeah. slick, as it were, telling sees... random people that he'll be their huckleberry. <laughs> oh gosh! And he sees a poker chip in the corner oh, of the car. Barry has some debts to pay. <laughs> <laughs> he feels drawn towards the poker chip. That was a quality story. Okay, it's the next day. It's the next day, and the train has pulled into the train station in Washington, D.C. Okay, uh, so we pull into Washington, D.C. So, thank you for that wonderful sound in my ears. (laughs) You're going to have to turn that down. Yeah, so are we, do we need to be on this train? (laughs) Do we need to be back on this convoy? Back, back, (laughs) train. 
I'm trying to ask a question. Back, 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 back train and get, get your load. load. So my question is, do we have to be <laughs> on this train when it leaves? <laughs> so, like, do we have a time limit from when we need to get the whatever, the honey, Abe's Lincoln honeycomb and get back on the train and get to the North Pole? So or is it like leaving out? At 10. So All right. So attractive. What? Sorry, Jaime's grabbing Zach's food, and I, I told him to back off. I was like fixing his shirt. She said, "Stop violating my husband." So I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> "All right." So I don't know if anyone heard this, but the train leaves at ten. So, so we added? don't have till Christmas Eve. What? <laughs> no, we gotta get the comb and get back on the train. What time is it? What time is it? Okay. Is it in the morning? Are we? Yeah. What is it? Ten p.m. or ten a.m.? Have you had your coffee yet? Because you're starting to be barbaric. It leaves at 10. Was that an attempt at a bear pun? Because it wasn't good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it leaves at 10 p.m. Okay, and it's the morning. Looks like it's about... 7.30 a.m. 7.30 a.m. I'm the only one who knows how to read a clock. It's fine. You, you, you read the sundial. It's true. We bears, we live on a different time than humans. Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Um... Should I grab some honey before we go? No. Like a lot of honey? No. What if we need it? I already have honey no. in my backpack. No. And there's no. like a no. honey just no. dripping from my backpack. Yeah. Okay, fine. I think we should each maybe bring a jar. Ooh, I like that. Mm-hmm. We're going to steal jars of honey. Just go grab it. Just Why me? You steal it. No, oh. you don't guys. They have jars of honey. It's a honey convention. Okay, I'm going to go grab this honey. I'm grabbing this honey, everyone. <laughs> She's the worst. You're the worst person. I'm taking it. It says H U N N Y on it. I'm gonna take it. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, I take it. <laughs> Christopher the Pooh. Yeah, Christopher the Winnie Pooh. <laughs> I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna okay. grab a jar as well. Yeah, I do too. We all grab a jar. Okay. I and just I just put honey in my backpack. <laughs> <laughs> no jar. Okay, driver. How do we rent a car so that you can drive us to the theater? We're criminals. We don't rent cars. That's legal. Oh yeah, that's true. Let's so, steal one. So I'd lean over to Barry and like, Barry, you know how to break into a car, right? <laughs> and then with your bare hands, you <laughs> just pre- yeah, just break the window. Did you just break that window. Hey, or are you pantomiming it? <laughs> To show him that you knew how to break into a car window. <laughs> Did you not hear the glass shatter? Did you not see my paw go through the window? I'm sorry. I was coming back with all these honey pots. And I'm hot wiring the car, but I should probably roll for that. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to use hacker. Mm. You better have the right qualifications. Mm. You're going to take my ha. joke? Ha. <laughs> I, I said that earlier. Funny. <laughs> yeah. You <son> <laughs> So. Oh, I think you just shocked yourself there. <laughs> Dang it. It's still nothing. Well, it looks like I, uh... So we broke this car for no reason, and now the alarm's going off. <laughs> Let's go hide in this alley for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so does he lose something and bear and put it in the criminal for that? Uh, yeah. I feel like... He just, like, he was trying to hotwire it, and he just broke the whole... Steering wheel off. Just like <laughs> I'm pretty sure we need that to drive. <laughs> of course, I'm not the driver, so I don't know. So should that go into bear then? Because I sucked at being a criminal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm gonna say that since he epically failed, uh-huh. um, Yang Yang is looking around at the other cars and he sees that there's like an entire like bamboo stick or something in the car, and so he breaks open the window <laughs> to get it and. You never realize how much a bamboo is in the world until someone's really looking for it. Well, who in D.C. just has bamboo in the It's backseat? obviously a panda diplomat here to broker peace between the Chinese pandas and a- America. 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 That's right. Okay. We've renamed it. Uh, okay. So. Um, okay, so you break into the car with the bamboo, mm-hmm. and how do you... Do you does, are the keys in it? I... Lift down the the thingy with the mirror. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The, the, visor? Visor. the visor. And the keys drop. This is not a well-secured vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in such a dangerous place as Washington, D.C. Um, 
Sure, we'll go with it. <laughs> and it's like a nineteen nineties like Volkswagen van or something. Something just super retro. outrageous. Yeah. Shotgun. <laughs> So y'all load up in the van, and but most importantly, you I'm just in the shotgun. head straight to Ford's theater mm-hmm. and just park out front, or what? Park Let's case back. the joint. Okay, so Mel pulls out her journal that has the like drawing, mm-hmm. and do you pull out your your blueprints? I almost said paw prints. I don't know why. Because <laughs> uh, he used his paw pad. Ah, thank you. I knew there was paw in there somewhere. Do you pull out the blueprints? Yes, I pull out. This the blueprints on my paw pad, and I turn it to where everyone can see. And it's not my phone with a list of bears for the purpose of bear puns. <laughs> it is in fact, <laughs> it is in fact the blueprints of this very theater. Cool. So we're looking at all this. Okay, where do we think the beehive could be hidden? I'm actually gonna pull up blueprints of the. I think. Theater. I mean. Hmm. I have an idea. Please share. Okay. I think it's probably in the presidential box where Abraham Lincoln was when John Wilkes Bear snuck in there and <laughs> shot him in the back of the head. It sparked the second civil war between bears and humans. I thought Abe Lincoln is still alive in this scenario. He was. What? How far back in the past do you think we are? Well, is no, Abe Lincoln? No, 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 this no, is no. present day. It didn't. The Lincoln oh. assassination didn't spark the civil war then. Yes, but it sparked the second great civil oh. war between bears and humans. Keep Sorry, up. Sorry, I didn't about... realize this was present day. I don't know. We <laughs> talked about paw pads. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. I'm struggling. It's 1776, but we have these. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And um, drive me a 19, 1960s <laughs> or 1990s van. Anything's possible. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we need. So, anyways, like I was saying, I think the honeycomb is in the presidential box. Okay. That's a good position. Mm. All right. <laughs> so we've got we've got we've got three names, right? Yes. They're all they're all male names. Okay. Well, Beringer could be you know either either. But it's a male. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it would be a pretty good idea for us three to try to impersonate him. Mm-hmm. And while we're trying to impersonate him, we need to get Mel. Mm-hmm. To the suite, mm-hmm. to the box, mm-hmm. so we could see if we could find it. I could pretend to be an assistant that that's needs, just sexist. Yep, that <laughs> needs to check on the box before whatever important person comes in there tonight. That's a possibility. That's fair. Stop. Probably. <laughs> Remember that um, a Christmas carol is going to be held at the theater this evening, and so I hear it's an all bear cast. <laughs> and so the chances are that the theater is not empty at this point. Could oh, you, so are there lots of people? In could there? you dress as like? Could you put a sheet over yourself with eye holes and say you're like the ghost of Christmas past? No. Oh, well, I tried. <laughs> well, I guess this isn't a democracy of ideas, then. <laughs> but I could walk on my hind legs and have a dress on. Ooh, a disguise. Okay. Do it. So, wait, is the play going on, or is like there are just people there like getting ready for the play? Because so it's not nighttime the, yet. No, yeah. So the play is in the evening. Yeah. So one could assume that they're there doing dress rehearsals and mm-hmm. last minute sound checks and all of those kinds of things. So I could definitely play off the assistant role. Yes. That's that true. grunts. The assistant that smiles and grunts. <laughs> 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 Calm down, Yoda. <laughs> okay, so we need to find these bears and knock them out. And then take their uniforms. <laughs> Lucky for me, I'm the muscle of the group. All right, let's do it. Wake up. <laughs> Wait, what was the plan? How would you drive us here if you were sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all had already arrived and were parked in the back. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> More than a second passed, so he probably fell asleep. He's only awake. He's only truly alive when he's behind the wheel of a car. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to look for Humphrey. He's my first target because he's the first name I wrote down. 
<laughs> and probably the only one you remember. I mean, I yeah. I have the other two written down, but I only remember the first. Okay, I'm looking for Humphrey. Where's he at? <laughs> Humphrey. <laughs> Humphrey. Can you just walk up and start, like, yelling his name or Humphrey. what? Humphrey. No. Um, all right, so we're parked, but we need to case this joint. We, like, need to figure out where people are and stuff like that. Um, so do I see any um, security bears anywhere? Um, you do see... Um, so you're in the back, and in the back there's, like, um, like, there's where y'all parked, but then there's, like, a fenced-in area, and, Mm -hmm. like, there's a, um, like a booth that one of the guards is sitting in. Oh, like a, like a parking lot booth kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to try the old special delivery? I think so. Trick? Yeah, let's do it. All right, so I'm going to go up front. Say I got a special delivery. Mm-hmm. I'm going to need a clipboard. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, I happen to have a clipboard on me. Hey, look at that. Uh, and you, you know what to do, right? Of course I do. Are you, are you sure? Do you remember? No, you, go ahead. I'm going right. to follow your lead. <laughs> I'm so terrified of what you're going to do. All right. <laughs> all right, you two. Follow, but keep your distance because things could get a little messy. Yeah. All right. Really messy. So I'm going to walk up to the booth. Uh, good uh, Good morning there. And I'm going to like look at his name tag, try to read it. What does it say? It says Behringer. Good morning, Behringer. How's it, how's it going? How do you know my name? Uh, you got a name tag there. It's fair. All right. So I got a, <laughs> I got a special delivery here. There's going to... No special deliveries expected today. Okay. Well... Your producer's trying to surprise some people. Maybe it didn't get down the chain to you, but we're going to have a catered breakfast. I'm pretty high up on the chain, and the producer said no special deliveries today. (laughs) Did he specifically tell you that this morning? He specifically told me that this morning. You're making my job hard, all right? I'm here to give you a special delivery. You're going to tell me I have to go back to my boss, tell him you didn't want it, tell him you aren't going to pay for it. Then my job's on the line. I'm I'm not going to do that. Let me talk to your superior. Special delivery! And then I burst <laughs> through the glass and grabbed him and forced him down to the ground. So at that, like, right before... <clears throat> oh, damn it. My bear's so low. <laughs> right before that happened, Behringer had pushed the button on his walkie-talkie to radio his supervisor. <laughs> so that they can hear it. And so, Special delivery. <laughs> so they hear that and they hear the crash. <laughs> Okay. Oh, God. Please let me roll lower than two. Oh, oh man. No. Okay. I rolled a three. So you stumble in or whatever, and then you're just like, so you've come through the glass, I'm assuming? Yeah. I, so he was talking to him on, you know, the front side, uh-huh. and I snuck around to the back, and I just burst through the back of the thing and try to grab this So bear. you burst through, and then you just, like, get stuck, like, there in the thing. Oh, I've really <laughs> Winnie the Pooh myself. So... <laughs> So, um, Bar- that was Behringer, right? Yeah. So Behringer's like, he's pushed the button and he's like, Humphrey, can I get some backup out here? Hey, hey, hey You really on. called for somebody <laughs> that's getting jumped. Hold on. He's a trainee, all right? I figured he was retired. We try to do him a favor. He's obviously not very good at his job. There's I'm no need to escalate senile. the situation. Why would he break in for a special delivery? He is the clumsiest bear I have ever met in my no, life. No, he was grabbing for me. You don't know that. He was trying to give you a hug. I'm a very senile huggy bear. All right, and as as hopefully he's turning over to him, I'm going to try to punch <laughs> him in the face. <laughs> Uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna say that it's it's a slick move to try to sucker punch him when he's not looking. Just try trying to be slick. I envy your bear score right now. <laughs> That's so high. Oh my God. <laughs> Punched him right in the face. What happens? Um so Oh god, it's in danger. <laughs> you land the punch and he kinda stumbles back, which is into And into Orso. You into grab him? Orso. And as that's happening, um, Humphrey comes storming out. On all fours? Yep. Oh, that's bad serious. Shoot. Are they all grizzlies? Obviously. Oh, my gosh. We're screwed. Does, 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 does Humphrey see 
what's going on? Do, or does he just see me outside of the booth? Well, he obviously Humphrey, sees my... Humphrey saw him, like, stumble back. But he doesn't know, like, what caused him to stumble, I guess. So okay. he's coming at an angle where he could see him could I, around I'm, my butt. <coughs> can I try to walk up to Humphrey to, like, cut him off from getting there? Oh, yeah. So I guess, I guess I'm going to grab... Is Behringer still up? Is he awake? Uh, or did he get knocked out by his punch? We'll say he was knocked out. All right. Okay. Hey, 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 you're not going to want to get much closer, buddy. I'll wiggle my butt. Yeah, this thing's loaded. Humphrey. Uh, <laughs> let's see how we want to do this. <laughs> oh, God. Um. Humphrey moves to, like, take you down. So he should roll a bear to avoid it? I can't roll a bear to avoid it, because I will go crazy and kill everyone. Oh, damn. damn. What, what criminal? Wait, 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 wait. But, does this, Why but did, does this attack remind you of anything? Why did his bear go this up? This attack reminds me of... Why did of, his bear go up? Because yeah. he swung at him. Because I punched him. This plan's him. not over yet, though. Oh, is it about the whole plan, not individual actions? Maybe so. Yeah. Oh. Let's do that. Okay. Because that would be crazy to like keep like yeah. everything we do. Right. But I'm still gonna take advantage of what you said by remembering. Yeah. As as he throws this punch, he goes back to a much younger. He's, he's not. I'm not picturing him throwing a punch, but like you're standing like on. To... Yeah, you're. He's on all fours, and you're standing up, on twos, and mm -hmm. and so he's like going to like knock you down. It reminds me of my earliest. Of criminal activities, which was throwing fights in the BBA, which is the Bear Boxing Association. And I remember this one wise guy named Lang Lang. He was a real crafty fella. And even though it was against the rules to go for takedowns, he was so frustrated that he took me to the floor. And that's the last thing I remembered before I snapped back to defend myself from Humphrey's vicious tackle. Good. So I will go down to 3-3. Three, three. Mm -hmm. All right. And if I defend myself here, is it bear level that I'm trying to get under? I don't. I only think I can use one die. Cause there's really nothing about being a hacker or slick that. Well, maybe slick, but I'm. He tackles me. He puts me in the. He puts me in the dirt. Can I? Can I? As I'm getting tackled, be like, "All right, guys." <laughs> yeah, I was about to jump in and say that, like, yeah. Yeah. Mel. You looks see up all and this happening like, from the car. Oh my god! And it's like, oh my. Gosh, you've got to be kidding me. Would have just and <laughs> no. turns to Yang Yang and is like, we've got to go help him. And so, starts dropping bamboo. On her oh, way. I was yeah. saying, because I, I feel like, are they still outside? Yeah. Yeah, we're like at the front gate fighting right now. So I'm imagining Yang Yang just like puts the car into gear and just drives to the front. And but is, not drive, not like runs them over. No, I was planning on running over the bad guys. Well, you can't run over the bad guys. They're like they have them tackled. Yeah, one to... of them, one of them's in the booth, but he's unconscious with Orso, and then the other is on top of uh, Barry outside. I'm gonna say that I turn the corner and I say, "Barry, get out of the way!" And then I'm tackled on the ground. If you run me <laughs> over, I'll kill you. It'll, it's okay. The car is lifted, so it'll hit what's on top of you. And just shave your stomach. And this is where we see. Just it, this reminds me. How high is your criminal? Four. It's four. Okay, then I'm not reminded. But <laughs> he is the world's best bear driver. He could probably do a trick that would be really cool, and you know, a wheelie or something, and knock that dude out without touching you. If he messes yeah. up and runs me, I over. turn around the corner and I, I don't know. The car goes on just like two wheels and just hits the mineral for it, obviously, and hits the, in the attempt to hit the guy that's on top of you. Okay. Knock him off. 
So you, you'll be able to use your driver skill for that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It'll just be rolling on a criminal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what what about I'm, the same? What is a tie? A tie. Um, I mean, you can roll it, but I'm pretty sure it's you have to roll below. Equal to or under. Oh, okay, okay perfect. Sweet. So the car hits him and he <clears throat> tumbles off unconscious. Okay. So you've got these two guards knocked out. What's your next move? I'm going to grab Behringer's tag. I'm going to fasten it, take his radio. And I'll grab Humphreys. Can I just put whatever you had on? Behringer was the one that was knocked out in the booth, so yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Humphreys has blood on it, so no. (laughs) Such vicious criminals. Well, it ran him over. All right, I'm going to drag Humphrey. And I'm going to put him in the booth. I'm going to prop him up and put some shades on him. We're going to Bernie's him. <laughs> Perfect. We're going <can>, to bury him. You may be able to take just the name tag. Yeah. I'm going to say that I load up the these guys. And I'm just like driving off to like drop them off somewhere. Oh, my gosh. Not, not to kill them, but just to like get them far away so that we can. <laughs> no, we don't do that with criminals, not murderers. <laughs> So that we can follow through with the plan without them, you know, showing up unannounced. So you're taking Humphrey too? Humphrey and Behringer. But the problem is I can't disguise myself as Humphrey because his shirt is all messed up now. It's okay, you at the tag row. I can't just walk in there naked. <laughs> what kind of security guard do you think I am? I, I could, uh... I could pretend to be but you have your crown. escorting you into lockup inside. Here, I have an idea. <clears throat> Let me think of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you are disguised as Barrington. Yeah. You stick Barringer. little Miss Small underneath your hair, your, your hat there. And then you take her inside. You scout out the place. You find where the honey is. And we're going to watch things from out here. It's not a bad idea. Thanks. I used to be the brains. All right. Well, make sure you keep. Uh, hum- is it- it's Behringer. Keep Behringer's radio. Humphrey. You have Behringer. Keep Humphrey's radio. radio. This- Give me that back. Yet. They're obviously very different people. We just can't remember the names. <laughs> you got. You got it. Okay. You have that radio. I have this radio. Okay. If I'm gonna try it out. <laughs> no. Di- There's other people on the line. Thanks, <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> At this point, Theodore comes on the line. This is Theodore. What's going on? Uh, hel- hello, Theodore. Everything's fine out here. This is just uh, me and Humphrey took care of somebody at the gate, and all's clear. Over and out. Over and out. Whew. Sweet. <laughs> That was good thinking. And I'm loading up bodies into the. <laughs> I think Humphrey stays though. Humphrey's like bloodied up <laughs> in the front of the movie. But he's weakened at yeah. fairies right now. Yeah, yeah. he's propped so up with sunglasses there. in the booth. David, did I first. said it first. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, David. I <laughs> give credit where credit's due. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Quality. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, Quality so so Humphreys, so Humphreys weakened at Bernie's, Barry's, yeah. whatever in the and I'm I have booth. him. Oh, I took bamboo and I like oh attached it to his arms, and so I can move yes. his arms around. You're like pretending this. to be here. And um, <laughs> Yang Yang is driving off with Behringer, and into the moon. Mel and. Barry. Barry. Barry are headed inside, and you're staying, and Orso is staying out. Yeah, I'm in the booth with uh, hum- er, Barringer mm-hmm. moving his arms around with bamboo sticks. Mm-hmm. Jaime, you had one job. <laughs> it's true. All right, so y'all go in the back door, like the stage, not the stage door, but the back stage, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um. You walk in, and That's there's true. just, like, mass chaos. People running around, like, in half costumes and, like, people getting makeup done. I mean, just basically, like, what you would picture backstage of a mass production. So as long as we look like we belong here. 
All right. We need to get up to Are the- you, are you, sorry, are you in a dress or anything? I'm under his hat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And it's, I guess because you could literally talk to me from where you are. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We need to get up to the presidential box. So get out from behind the stage and let's go. All right. Let's take it. I just became Bill for a second. All right. I'm headed that way. <clears throat> so you get to like where this, where there's a set of stairs and um, somebody sees you and um, they're, Behringer, we need your help over here. These lights have gone out again. Um. Okay. I was supposed to do a quick security check of... This is more important than that. We have to get these lights fixed now. Throw me in the stairs and go. All right. All right. Hold on one second. Let me just figure something out. I'm going to like brush my hair back and put back on. I'm assuming she's going to climb out of my back. Mm-hmm. Mm, I like it. Okay. That's, that's slick. <laughs> uh, let's I'm roll for that, man. though. <laughs> let's roll for that and make sure that that happens oh, without man. a hitch. And y'all both need to roll. Okay. <laughs> Two criminals. Oh my gosh, air criminal so low. Is it criminal or is it bear? Because I'm running. I think it's yours is bear, his is criminal. Because okay. you have to you have to like climb down and I'm just trying right. to be. I'm trying to be slick. Okay, go ahead. Boom! Got it. Now please don't fall. <laughs> Got it. Alright. <laughs> so what happens? So she runs off up the stairs, I guess, and you go and you um there's a light out, and it's like, I don't know. I'm not a technological person or How anything. How many bears does like, it take to change? Like, <laughs> is it like a like a Christmas light? Like one of the bulbs is burned out, so all the rest. Or is it like a out. fluorescent light? It's it's like the it's the Christmas lights on the tree, on one of the big trees, and so like you have to figure out exactly which light it is. Oh my god, <laughs> that's causing the short. Yeah, but you're a hacker. <laughs> I have claws. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not the... It, it's not these. Yeah, it's not the little ones. It's a little bit bigger ones. Oh, okay. That's a little bit. So should I roll for it? Is that what's happening? Um, yeah. I will use hacker. And I don't... I think my criminal side would be better at this than my bear side. Got it. Ooh. Double Times two. All right, so within about 15 minutes, you have it fixed. Got it. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I'm, like, running up the stairs to get to the presidential box, but, like, very carefully. Like, I'm on the edge, like, trying to hide in the shadows, and every time that it, like, loops around to go up another level, I, like, look to see if there's anyone there before mm-hmm. I go. Mm-hmm. Do I need to roll to see if I make it? Um, yes. Okay. Is it criminal? Yes. Uh, can I say brains because I think to look ahead of time? Mm, sure. Yes. See, I'm gonna push over to you. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> got it. Barely, but got it. Barely. <laughs> so you get to the box. Okay. And I guess before you actually like, because you're staying unseen, but it is being guarded. Okay. Like there's a guard right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I didn't grab that radio from you. That would have been helpful. Is a guard Theodore? The only other <laughs> bear guard? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to... Um, okay, so I'm going to come from around the stairs. I'm actually going to go down a little ways on that staircase and, like, run up and come around the corner and be like, oh, my goodness. Nope. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> uh, I'm going to come and be like, oh, my goodness. Are you Theodore? Yes. Okay, well, I have to check something in the presidential box for my boss because my boss is going into this box tonight and I got in super big trouble because I didn't do it ahead of time and they told me that there would be Theodore guarding it and, and to tell him that I was sent when I came up here and, and, and I just can't, I can't make the humans mad. Help. 
What is it that you need to check? My the human that I work for has to have this his chair perfectly fluffed and set in the right place. And I have to make I sure I already it's done. took care of the fluffing this morning. Well, he didn't tell me to check if you took care of it. He told me to make sure that I took care of it and checked it. Roll. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was also trying to come up with, like, what human is going to be sitting in the box tonight, and I was trying to think of something funny, and I couldn't think of anything. So if anybody has a suggestion for us to put in there, that would be great. Yeah, tweet at us so we can put it in this recording. <laughs> no, not them. Y'all. Oh. No. Weirdo. A bear photographer. No, it's not a bear. It's a human. I know. It's a human that takes pictures of bears. That's a two. Let's keep it. Yeah, am I doing criminal or? Oh, it's President Stephen Colbert. Ha 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 ha. That was good. That was good. Um, it's criminal because you're being like cunning. Cool. Did that count as my roll? When did you roll? A two. <laughs> did that win? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if you truly work for President Stephen Colbert. <laughs> Yes, I can let you yes. in. You know how mean. Just let me look at your ID. <laughs> oh, oh, I lost that. I left it in the car. I I left it in the car. I was in such a I was in such a hurry to to get up here and to not to not to not get in trouble. She Please burst don't. into tears at this point, and he's like, doesn't do tears. So he's like, okay, okay, just make it quick. Thank you. And thank I'm you, watching you. your every move. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So she goes in, and she's fluffing the seat as she's, like, scanning. <laughs> as she's fluffing the seat, she goes to put the cushion back down. And as she puts the cushion down, she feels some kind of, like, movement. And so she, like, puts her hand, like, under the chair, and she feels what could be a beehive. <gasps> Da, 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 da. I feel I need y'all's it, help. <laughs> it's under Miss Lincoln's sofa. I just read Chasing Lincoln's Killer, so like I know all these places. Okay. It's funny perfect. that you picked it, yeah. Okay, so rolled it. Oh yeah. So as Mel is fluffing and sh- her paw reaches under mm-hmm. and she feels that she like goes to stand up. And pretends, oh, and pretends to trip, and her hat falls next to the seat, and so she bends down and knocks the beehive into her hat and puts her hat back on. Damn, girl, how big is your hat? It's huge. It's a fedora. Well, if the beehive is small enough to fit under the seat, that's fair. Okay, but you're gonna have to roll that. Yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> uh, he's like watching your every, like he's watching you this whole time. Um, can I throw brains in there? Because that's pretty smart. I guess. It's more slick. I mean, <laughs> you're fixing a Christmas tree right now. It's true. You would have been more suitable for that. Two and a one. Nice. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Carrie's not happy so, about how this is going. No, that's fine. Um... Remember that GM can do Trump rules if they want. <laughs> David does it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, so you you get it, and then you're going back out, and uh, so what now? Um, so Mel like is like continually bowing towards Theodore as she leaves is like holding her hat like head down She's like thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much I'm so sorry thank you so don't much don't mention it okay bye and like whips out how fast does down. she whip out <laughs> a reasonable pace to keep hat on head <laughs> <laughs> okay um so as she's running down the stairs um she gets to like the bottom where she's like where the backstage door is or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, um, one, is she leaving? Uh, no, she's just like going to go back into the door that is backstage. Oh, and 
she's about to reach for the door and a human opens the door and they're like, Tiny Tim, where have you been this whole time? We need you for your scene. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not Tiny Tim. I'm not Tiny Tim. I know that you're nervous and I know that you think you can't do this, but you're going to be fine. No, no, no I'm not Tiny Tim. Yes, it's I'm not time Tiny for Tim. your scene. I'm not she gets dragged <laughs> off to the stage. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Does she catch um, Barry's eyes as she he's like gets head deep past? into the Christmas tree? <laughs> yeah, he's no. Okay, 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 okay. Can it be somebody else's turn now? <laughs> and Yang Yang walks through the door <laughs> as he's been gone on this adventure. You need to keep the car ready. You washed up, Panda. Um, <laughs> Nothing so- else to do. So she's on stage and they're like setting up the scene and it's the scene where um, he comes home. The uh, uh, Bob Cratchit. Bob Cratchit comes home and and they're all like, "We're so excited for Christmas." Yeah. And Mrs. Cratchit is like, "Tiny Tim's dying." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that, that that scene basically. That's what the scene is. Spoiler basically alert. that scene. Um oh gosh. Never seen a Christmas. And so they're like getting it set up, they're getting everybody in place and What is Orso doing? Barry. Oh, you were you stayed outside. Okay, okay. Um and Barry like comes up and he's like got it all fixed. And he, you know, he comes out of the tree and he see, he makes eye contact with Mel. Mel. What does he do? I give her like the. And I, Mel's gonna like look up at her hat and like reposition it, <laughs> trying like, to like give you a cue. And it's like bulging and obviously <laughs> honey hive shaped. <laughs> And she's like an extra like, pretty regular right at the, <laughs> right, bees right flying at the, around her head. Right at that time, like one little bee just like flies out and somebody's like, Oh, a bee and they slap at it. <gasps> Do they kill it? A bee? Yeah. They miss it. Oh good. But now the bee is angry. <laughs> oh gosh. Um can how is this place lit? By the Christmas tree, obviously. <laughs> no, there's like lights like in front of the stage. And then, um, and because it's like they haven't brought up the lights for the scene yet. So there's the yeah. lights in the front of the stage. All right. I am and done fixing the tree. I'm going to go make sure the breakers are okay. Because the last thing we want tonight is for the lights to go out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Behringer, go on. All right. We don't want the lights to go out. <laughs> just, I just walk off. <laughs> and so they begin the scene, and um, Bob Cratchit enters, and um, everybody's doing their line and it gets to a line for tiny Tim and they all look to you and you say, God bless us. Everyone. I told you, you had to remember all of the lines. You can't just use that line when you forget your line. (laughs) Everybody will cheer for me. If I say this line. All right. From the top. Lights, lights, lights. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Carrie's just. Mm-hmm. I'm using hacker. Ooh, got it. Barely. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> so, the lights go out, and I Mel runs to the door. Runs to the door that we came in to go outside. Y'all are both going to the door to leave. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we run out the door, and dun, dun, dun. and then I hock my horn and goes, <laughs> <laughs> and Orso is giving directions to like this human couple, <laughs> but like he obviously can't speak human, so he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and Humphrey's arms are just moving limply about, but he's trying to help them out and trying to tell them where to go to go to where Abraham Lincoln died across the street. And he's like. 
if you just go across the street, oh wait, that's not his voice. If you just go across the street, it's right there and in the back room, and it's upstairs, and they say you can still see the blood stain on it, but all they hear is. I knew I should have taken Bear in college. <laughs> then you could be Bear Lingual. <laughs> and then. That was good. I guess I hear the. Your fake love just turned into a real. I hear the, and I obviously know that's the sign, and so I like drop it, and then Orso pops up in the booth, and he just breaks out the window through the front of the window, and on all fours starts running towards the. the is it station wagon? It's no, a van. It's a... Okay, and so I like press or I sling open the door for y'all. So Mel jumps in and is like, I need a bag! I need a bag! I need a bag! I need a bag! There's no bags in this station. Find a bag! I thought so you said you had a I backpack. Take, I take her hat with the with the thing off of her head and put it, like, it against my hat. Mm. And so I'm just holding them both together. A perfect like, hat suction. Mm-hmm. And you just see these red bumps <laughs> on my head. <laughs> you see little stingers poking out of our yeah. hat. <laughs> All right, and so I assume All that right. at this point you're headed back to the train. Yeah, yes. to the convoy before the fuzz. Wait, were we going to try to find Polar Santa? Oh, shoot. He was supposed <laughs> wait, to be wait, in that building. No, the, we, wait, no, he's not. Oh, wait, we have to take this she to has, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has Polar Santa. Oh, yeah. But she said he's somewhere near the field. Yeah, that's true, but we have to figure out where he is. Yeah. I mean, we, if that? we could, we could look around. Huh. But, I mean, the so, police will probably be here any minute <clears throat> looking for this honey. Yeah, you're right. I was pretty sneaky, yeah, though. Going back to Y'all didn't know, but I just stayed the whole time. I wasn't. I was giving poor directions to humans. <laughs> I was just waiting by my car. You're the y'all driver. You driver. signed up for this. So y'all go back to the train station, and um, there's, like, tables set up, like, at the train station. Because that's a thing. <laughs> okay. Sounds, <laughs> and so, sounds good. Um, And you just see uh, Bitsy, Bitsy with her hat down sitting at the table. Tapping her claws. So, uh, Bitsy, how about you tell us where old Santa Paws is? The jig's up, Bitsy! <laughs> Stop saying the jig is up. Oh, I just want to... Where's the jig? I want to find it. It's a dance. It's popularized in the 20s. <laughs> right, so, um... <laughs> So do y'all automatically hand it over? No. <laughs> we want to know where Polar Santa is so where we can save is Christmas. Santa Paws? It's not his name. If we're going to save him, you better learn his name first. Where is Polar Santa? Tell us where he is. Do you want any of this sweet Lincoln honey? Polar Santa. That's sweet Lincoln <laughs> honey. Polar Santa. Polar Santa. Uh, Polar Santa is tied up across the street. From the theater. I was giving people directions to that place. They're going to find Paul and Santa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you'll get this, honey, whenever that, that checks back is true. Let's go. She trips. <gasps> As y'all run, y'all go to run off. Mm-hmm. She trips. Um, Barry? Cause Barry, because he has the thing. He has the thing. <laughs> um, and Barry may oh. trip and lose what's in his hands. So, so you drop it, and she grabs it. We've been triple crossed. And she says, um, My shame is unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> this is all I needed to complete my master plan. And she, um, she like, heads back to the train, and she, like, the train starts leaving. Mm, this is a predicament. Well... Wait, we have to save. I don't know what her plan is. I mean, it's probably bad. I could only imagine dangers you could rot with Abraham Lincoln's secret honey hive. But I think we need to save Santa, Polar Santa. Santa Paws? Damn it. <laughs> it's Polar Santa. <laughs> We're coming for you, Santa Paws. <laughs> All right, to the, to the van. Right. So, do we go back to? Uh, I forget what the name of that building is, but the building where Abraham Lincoln died. Yeah, I yeah. said we go there. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Y'all get there and you get to the door, and 
then the door is has like an electronic lock on it. I wonder who would be able to hack this. There's only one man for the job. You mean Bear? I call Rin Pascal. (laughs) 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 Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I can't get over there. I'm in the city. (laughs) Fine, I'll get there, but it'll be like six days. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. It looks like it's. If I didn't know any better, I would think that you just called Yang Yang. <laughs> it wasn't Yang Yang. Yang Yang's right here. <laughs> oh, you're right. I couldn't see. Him. All right. It looks like I'm gonna have to try to do this without the the very man who I went to for hacker training. <gasps> he trained you how to hack. Do you remember a time that he trained you to hack? <laughs> As a matter of fact, <laughs> I do. <laughs> It was a cold winter morning. <laughs> Much like this one. I had just gotten kicked out of the old shtick I was in, which was diving, because I got too good at boxing. Nobody believed I would lose to people like Barry George Manilow. Bearman and That's a good one. Muhammad <laughs> Bali. Bear Lee okay. and Bear Frazier and, all right, and I'm done. And Rocky. And Rocky Bear Boa. <laughs> <laughs> So I had to do something different. And in my search, I found a young, promising mathematician. And he showed me the ways of the hacker. Is that sufficient? That's sufficient. All right. I'm going to use hacker. I really should have, with Ren Pascal, I really should have left that for we were <gasps> misconceptions. It's a good thing we did that. So... As you're going to do this, you hear the tick, tick, tick. Oh, my God. And it's obvious to you that um, when you handed over the beehive, it started the timer. What? That's connected to the, the door building. or the building. And of episode. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're running out of time. Tick. So he succeeded. So like. So we were like going to burst in there and yeah. try to find Santa Claus. <laughs> we, so all four of us run <laughs> inside. Mm-hmm. And we like start, like we split up mm-hmm. and start searching. I know where I'm going. I'm going to the top floor, to the back room. Because that's where Abraham Lincoln was. And it makes sense that that's where it's saying. Mm, <laughs> polar, polar Santa. Polar Santa would Success. be. <laughs> Hey, it's Santa Paws. Or it's Pola Santa, you idiot. I'm not listening to you. I'm deaf. And so I run towards the back room. Are you going to use your senses or anything? Oh, my honey sense? Well, Would Polar Santa have some some honey on him? I mean, come on. It's one of the three food groups. It is. The the four, candy, the candy, three. Candy, 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 and honey. And syrup. <laughs> but it's honey. You're right. So I will roll... Uh, two of these. Actually, you know what? Before before we go in, I say, guys, I need to take a hit of the stash. And so I take one jar of honey, and I well I devour my jar of honey that I stole from the whatever yeah. to increase my bear level. You had to because your blood sugar was low. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's getting late. <laughs> All right. Now cute. I will roll. <laughs> well, I didn't have to, but I still succeed. <laughs> It's good to know. So you're able to go right in and find where he is. No, I'm telling you. Oh, okay. I thought that was a, I thought that was a right. question. I was like, I don't know. So you're able to go in and find right where he is. Um, Polar Santa, are you in there? If you're gagged and can't speak, blink. <laughs> I hold. I have my ear blink, up blink. to the door. Blink, blink. I hear his blinking. <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> kick in the door. It okay. was already unlocked. And so I kick in the door. <laughs> and so special delivery. <laughs> so you're able to like you grab him up and Oh wait, is it, so he's in there? Mm-hmm. What does he look like? This is my first time seeing Paula Santa. It's been so long. I had stopped believing. Is it he really looks like you Santa Claus? Yeah. He's got the red like the red scarf Ooh. wrapped around him and Does he have a a hat a hat? He has a hat. Yeah, yep. Mm, I like that hat, Polo Santa. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my criminal's too low. I'm not going to do that to you. So I scoop up Polar Santa. 
which is a feat because polar bears are ginormous. And then I <laughs> carry him down the stairs. Guys, I got him. I got polar Santa. Hello, how are you doing, ma'am? Does he and I walk past on the him. Stairs. Oh yeah. So so is he tied up and stuff? So you picked him up. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. You carried him down, and then and, and only then when you reach everybody else <laughs> does Mel notice that there's something strapped to his back. He has a watch. I guess he's really concerned with making it on time for Christmas. You idiot. He is the bomb. And the, he's the bomb. We have to the, kill Santa. And the watch, like the watch, Are you has, saying is counting cool? down and it's you're at 60 seconds. Anyone know how to defuse a bomb? I can eat it. <laughs> Can't eat a bomb. Right, I'm just sure. taking one for the team and I grab the vest. And I throw it in the car, and I zoom off into the distance. Yeah, yeah, wait, we need that ride. You know, I'm okay with this. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay. But how about you let me try to defuse it first, wise yes. guy? Okay. <laughs> All right. Don't be a hero, Johnny. Or whatever we cut is. to commercial break. 40. Boop. 39. Boop. 38. Boop. All right. Uh, criminal hacker. Got it. Nice. He diffuses the bomb just in time. Hey! And oh, was that a heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> he diffuses the bomb just in time, and um. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna be really upset if this is just a Pola Santa impersonator. <laughs> <laughs> he diffuses the bomb just in time, and uh, Polar Santa says, "Now we must um, get to the station to stop." Uh, Bitsy. Bitsy from making it back to the North Pole. Oh, well, like, tra- I have to get on the train to the North Pole. Well, the train kind of booked it. Don't you have a sleigh? Yeah, Polar Santa, do you have a sleigh? Because <laughs> uh, sure. Bitsy, Bitsy kind of booked it out of here. <laughs> I mean, I guess we, we could... We must call the reindeer. <laughs> Kootloo-loo. You, I mean, but you remember the song, right? <laughs> Rudolph the Red no, Nose Dire Wolf. Rudolph. 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 The Red Nose Dire Wolf. Oh, yes, because that's what Polar Santa uses to try to slay is vicious dire wolves. <laughs> yeah. It's the hot warming. <laughs> Why are you hey, turning it to Bill right now? <laughs> <laughs> Who's this tattooed man over in the corner with the cowboy hat? <laughs> so, won't you get out of here? This so is our they show. sing this song and the. Wait, what, song? Comes. what song are we singing? <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nose. Okay, let's yeah. sing it. Rudolph, Rudolph the Red Nose reindeer, reindeer, reindeer. But then we only call him a very, very shiny nose. Yes, yeah, so he's, he's lots of friends. If you saw it, saw it, you would even say it glows like, like a light bulb. All of the other reindeer, reindeer used to laugh and call him names like, like Pinocchio. They, they never let poor Rudolph, Rudolph join in any reindeer games. games. Like me. Then, then one, one foggy, foggy, foggy Christmas, Eve, foggy Christmas Eve, Santa um, came to say, Hola, Santa. Ho, ho, ho. And right Rudolph when y'all say ho, 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 the sleigh comes so in and so the carries like, make it stop. <laughs> Won't you guys? <laughs> Barry, you don't have to say anymore. The sleigh's here. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> And they all hop on the sleigh, and the sleigh heads off to the North Pole. And as the sleigh gets to the North Pole, the train pulls in, and they they intercept they intercept Bitsy, and Santa is able to get the the beehive, and he's able to take it to the party. And y'all all get to come and be a part of the legendary bears extravaganza. <gasps> wow. We saved we saved Christmas, but more importantly. I'm wearing Santa's hat. (laughs) We knew you could do it, Santa Paws. Yes, we always believed in you, especially me. I never stopped believing. But you know what? I came out of retirement to save Abraham Lincoln's honey hive. And now I have. So now I can actually go into retirement. I start walking away. And I turn back. Unless you have, you know, another presidential honey hive we would need to get. No. Okay. Then Barry says... With the fishes, and he pulls out a silenced pistol. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> just kidding. Barry. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Is that how we end this story? <laughs> no. Everyone's dead. 
Uh, we end the story. And we just wanted to ride you. We end the story on the dance floor. Duh. That's right. We're, We're doing, doing the, the jig. jig. <laughs> The, the jingle, jingle bell time. jig. The jingle the, bell the jig. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell jig. Jingle bell swig and jingle bell rig. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. It's a very different song from what you know. What? On a skateboard. Oh. Dancing hey. and prancing. Jingle bell yes. jig. Yes. End of episode. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yay. Good job, Terry. I had no idea how to end it. I was like, shoot, I don't know. <laughs> that was actually, that was fun. That was though. good. That was good. The, the time flew. So, Carrie, thanks for GMing or HMing, Honey Meistering. <laughs> Meister. Honey Meister. The Cheer Meister. So, I guess you could. Are we going to pick this uh, up next week? What? More Honey Heist next week? Are we picking up more? Are we doing more Honey Heist next week? <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> I'm going to be No, next week we will be back to our regular scheduled episode. Oh, okay. But I wasn't even. That was just. Of Honey Heist. Yes. <laughs> what? I said, I'm honey iced. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for GM and Carrie. It was fun. You Bye, just everybody. Can't let me be end of episode. Okay, do it. End of episode. End of episode. Thanks for listening to this week's episode of Misconceptions. And for those of you that were concerned, I found out my results for my ESL test earlier this week, and I passed. So score one for procrastination once more. Our next episode will actually be released next week on January the 1st, New Year's Day. Uh, I really couldn't pass up an episode to post, you know, the new set of episodes using the new set of City of Mist rules on the new day of the new year. So it's a whole lot of new. I just couldn't pass it up. It was too fortuitous. So our episode is actually going to come out next week instead of two weeks from now. If you have Facebook or Twitter, please consider following us on either one of those platforms so you can get you know, videos of Tessa beating Jaime at Pollo Pollo Tetris or pictures of Maggie sitting in on our recording sessions. Um, Just lots of good stuff. So find us on Facebook and Twitter and add us there. As I said before, Honey Heist is an RPG created by Grant Howitt. The links to his site and his Patreon are down below. The Misconceptions theme song is by Aaron Wharton and you can find more of his music at AaronWharton.net. And everyone, I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas season. Be safe traveling. Uh, I hope maybe this podcast keeps you uh, keeps you awake while you're traveling, if you're driving especially. But uh, just have a great time with family. Enjoy this time together. Um, and, you know, maybe introduce some of your family members to the absurdity of RPGs. But whatever you do and wherever you are, remember everyone, keep it nerdy.